turn that down. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can not analyze music. There he is. Oh, sweet thing to use, everyone. Yep. I know that scene, but you don't. It's like an, it's an execution, but you don't know which one. Oh, not the one I said it to. <laughs> Stupid fat bitch. Probably makes an animation on scratch. Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great insult. The best insult I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Damn. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, and then the low quality thing for some reason. <laughs> Which I don't fully understand. Load game. No. Which I fully understand. Do not! If you do it, that's gonna be so dumb. Kind is good. Oh, just... Okay. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going with meme. That's probably hard mode. In meme, you just take more frontal cortex. That'd be pain. But whatever. Massive high school towers all over it. Oh, no, over all it. the other buildings in the most like urban area. It's like the entire it's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oaks Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sets the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. I still never understand that phrase when it's used. <laughs> oh, it's not hope in the nation's future. I just don't... I know what it means, I just don't understand it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like, what, what crops make cream? Corn. <laughs> well, I, I guess, but that's just <laughs> one crop. That's saying, like, our crops make cream or something. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. I was gonna say a pretty bad name, I'm like, that's not what it says. <laughs> there are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. That's no me! Way, you're, 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 <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> the only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. It's Yo, Scout? The ultimate high school filled with the ultimate students. I so if Scout was in this game, oh my god. <laughs> with me. <laughs> that would be that's so bad. funny. That'd be Before nuts. we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. Oh, there's voice acting. My name's Makoto Naegi. Yeah. You only have to read the thinking parts if you As want you can to. see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm psychic or immune or whatever. How is being a mutant a hobby? <laughs> I don't know. You'll figure it out. TMNT. <laughs> well, if you ask me what my favorite song was, my, my favorite, favorite song. Snog? What am I saying? Song, snow halation. I try song? to say snow halation and song in the same word. Favorite song, so favorite movie, Barnyard. <laughs> favorite movie, back in the Barnyard. <laughs> <laughs> Good great response. It was like pretty simple. Uh, they, they'll just be whatever's 
most popular at the particular moment. Like, wow. <laughs> like even them in the, the Lego movie. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even among say us? everyday hero type. Oh, uh, I, I hate Among Us, like, just saying it, like, when I, like, oh, it's good, but, it. I mean, like, the fandom stuff, I guess. Yep. But, you know, if I had any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say that I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything but ordinary, hope speak, Chadmi. I still, I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow the bowl. Probably because I feel like that's what it's gonna do. <laughs> but it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just prep. Let, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night and to get ready for today. I can't read anything. Anonymous. This is Poor Chan. Or fortune. <laughs> Not speak really. only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking. They should have made one of those ideas the Rickroll link. Oh, that would have been so good. <laughs> yep. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, <laughs> School one idols. The, yep, one of the incoming student. One incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. He died. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a popular famous all over the country. So an idol. There's also yep. the ultimate baseball star. He was a cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have already have their eyes on him. Out of my eyes. <laughs> and there's the ultimate fashionista. I'm pretty sure she's all over TikTok too. Yes. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. <laughs> Nasty TikTok. Yup. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love that guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> the ultimate but it's Hifumi, isn't it? The ultimate swimming yep. the open program. Hey, the nasty bitch. Boy, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top and bottom. I felt like a little tame, a tame little house cat who would wander into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were. Oh, I can't skip that. Okay, that's what happened earlier. One of the um texts were so short. I hit X to skip it. Um, I guess that's. The and then you progressed. Yep. You see, Whatever. there were students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. It's all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? I thought it was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in, in the way of personality. But <laughs> White girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. Hey, <laughs> Yuki, no reason. Hey, <laughs> yup. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent to see why. Does Trigger advance too? What? Okay, shoulder bump. Oh, you hide it. Hey. We recently held the lottery to select one of the ordinary- to select one ordinary student to attend our school. I'm losing my mind. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Hey, luck! <laughs> Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But but, but after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the building, or school, I started to feel lost like it didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand it here in front of the great gate forever, Use my mind. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched into my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8pm. AM. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> the meeting still isn't for a little while. But... I should probably just head him. Yeah. Yeah! Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yep. 
I guess I have to drop all my determination and try to act like I'm determination. Oh, 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 story. I hate that thing. <laughs> that song is great. <laughs> it is. I, I kind of like the song over there. <laughs> but I still hate it. And it's it's like hate and love. Oh, yeah. What kind of entrance is this? Why is there a whiteboard just sitting on the wall? This is where we're supposed to meet, right? Yo, that's yeah. the bus board from Buffett. Oh my god, okay. I didn't even know what the bus board was until student council. Where I like, um, walked downstairs and I saw it. And, uh, when I was and then you like, saw it? Yeah. Because the thing is, I've never taken that way out before. Never. Well, you, I, for 6th and 7th grade, I, I took it, but the bus board wasn't out there. Or just didn't pay attention to it. So I was like, what is this when I first approached it? There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10, 8, um, the meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock. So there's still a full 15 minutes left. You play on your phone. Be here yet. I'll start a, game of, start a game of Among Us. <laughs> so wound up, I got here way too early. Find you know, the school Wi-Fi password. Yep. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? And it'll help me kill some time with nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, Even though you're already in it. Towards starting a new life out of high school. It's gonna swallow you, isn't it? At least that's what I'm hoping for. I knew it! <laughs> what the? But the instant Man, what the fuck? Board. Kind of reminds me of the Gaugus fight. My view became more Yo, uh... Weird. Crash, twisted, or whatever. Warped. I, I read the wrong word. <laughs> Just say Crash 3. It was like some whatever. kind of delusion. Melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. In the next moment, you're dead. <laughs> Wrapped in black. Everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. They're the words. It's the word. That's the word. Yes. Do not save over those. Save <laughs> over. Hit up. Save. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna save into slot 30 then. Yeah. Okay. Mg. <laughs> Only those first three. Only the top three really matter to me though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. Man, the artwork looks great. Yo, heavy? It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever. But... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Oh, wow. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. First, we, firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. So green text is tutorial text. Can you use your yeah. Yeah, or like game. computer, like no canonically thing at all, just the game. Yeah, okay. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the A button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional buttons or the L and R buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? <laughs> For like five seconds, I saw AR, and I'm like, I was gonna say, why don't you try looking R? I'm like, that's not it. I have to wait. <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Gonna have to get used to this. You can probably change the sensitivity. Sensitivity is fine, I just need to get used to it. Okay. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a Yo, check cams. <laughs> Can't buy it. Oh it's a thing this world we live in. I guess they have these keep weirdos from just wandering in. Like you. No. Can I hit the clock? I can. Oh my god, you can't read the time. Jeez, I can't believe- How can you read that? Are you kidding me? Well, duh, that's what? just for, like, gameplay reasons. Cause, you, know uh, you can come here, like, most times. This is just geez, a classroom. So if it said it was 8, then it'd be 8 all the time, which would be wrong. Hey, <laughs> yup. No, that's yeah. wrong. 
there's a um light that's right above the clock in my Spanish classroom, and I can't even read the time. So when they ask me to read the time, I just kind of sit there and make up a time. I have to. I can't read it. That's exactly. Get what a watch. Like. No, it was just after seven okay. when I first got here. So I just kind of memorize. Um, I kind of count minutes in my head. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Or I checked the time before class. But enough of me. Let's play the game. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government. So I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it what it is. Was it Buffett that had all their like TVs removed? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. I was like, it's not my elementary school. Oh, I forgot. I can't adjust that. Yes, you don't yeah. have to do that. That's the desk I fell asleep. I fell asleep on. That was slept. <laughs> can Correct. Still see of... Yep. I can still see a line of jewels that I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Kindergartner handwriting. <laughs> yeah. Orientation guide. Some kind of cheap-looking pamphlet. There's some handwriting on it. The next semester is about to start. No, I'm gonna read it all. Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Start starting today. This school will be your entire world. Starting today, this school. Oh, <laughs> you just read it. <laughs> I read it. Is this some kind of joke? I gotta get used to it. just left and right stick movement. The heck? Uh, I have to get used to you investigating every little thing. That's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. As if I were to knock on it. And <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> Luigi. Yep, definitely metal. Stick too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is you died. No. <laughs> so wound up. I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside so Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows? It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. I can leave the classroom by pressing the B button. Oh, I got really excited because I thought I would be able to use quadrip and look behind me. <laughs> Even then I should- oh, I what? Jeez, what? always kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. Is there a movement in this game too? Well, for now, I'll just head up to the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the B button while moving to run. Also, you can press the Y button to bring up a map. Press the Y button again to close the map. How convenient. Wow, okay. Which one's map? Okay, it's top button. <laughs> Why? I can't read the controller. What'd they say to go? Main hall? Yes. <laughs> Shit. Is this it? No. It literally says hotel right I there. No place to stay but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. So it's faster if I just turn. Is this it? I should really be using the map. I wonder where this red door leads. Yeah. <laughs> Use a goddamn map. Everlasting. Don't put the lights. AV room. That's okay. I am not reading that. The store. Is that play? Is this it? You don't no need to go to the very center. If there's like the magnifying glass, you can just click. Okay, so this is it right. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. There oh, they are. Hey, another new kid? Huh? There's voice acting. Then you guys are huh? all. Then you guys are all. Yeah. Unless they read that line. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So counting him, that makes fifteen. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Ah, blah, blah. Can't read. The cardboard cutout style. Yeah. Uh, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. 
saw him like a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? I slept. <laughs> Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. That's not good English. So strange. <laughs> too bad. Clearly, I'm a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Rado, <laughs> your tardiness is unacceptable. Still, so you're aware that the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. Sure. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> to be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? <laughs> What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? <laughs> the hell, no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but at least I keep getting pings and it's distracting me. Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we are, who we all are, before digging into the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Okay, so let's get the introductions out of the way. Now we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? You die. I'm still totally lost. <laughs> but I think it's best to just focus on getting to remember each other from now on. So I guess this is a good uh, knowing the Knowing she has kind of ruins it. <laughs> yep. So I guess this is, this is as good a chance as I'm going to get. That's weird. That's a weird sentence. Don't like that. I already looked up everyone on the on that... Oh my god! I already looked <laughs> everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy. Throw it online. But I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over here. Aim at a student and press the A button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story. So keep track of how they go. I guess I'll go from left to right. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. <laughs> Teams. <laughs> Ultimate, ultimate moral compass. So that's Kiyotaka, according to what I saw about him on that thread. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He also oh, so do you a good student council member? He also knows for for the work he's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. So he's a hall monitor. Anyway, you can call me Taka. Your name, you, say, you said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. I should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. <laughs> Everyone with a bad name. <laughs> Everyone named Dick. <laughs> and they keep that name from losing its value. You must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> What about you? Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Alright, ultimate writing prodigy. Yo, prodigy? I remember that. Like the game? Like the math game? <laughs> yeah, it's like the math game. Yeah. yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone. Oh, shit. No, I don't want auto. <laughs> it's not awful. Thank God. Okay, whatever. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Don't press the shoulder <laughs> no. button when I'm reading text. Did I just skip over another text? Yeah. Oh my god. Hold on, Despite I can age, see on this replay. She's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. So she's a writing project. Which is why she comes in known as... The line like you skipped just said, she project. wrote other books. Okay. What else would you call such a young and talented author? What I figured out she'd be a lovey dovey type. Which with what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? It's not polite to stare, you know. <laughs> Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought. I didn't know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it would be so funny. And <laughs> not funny didn't laugh. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you. I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferiority complex. 
I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Hey, you die. Hi, oh my I god! I know that. Zach of Izona, I look forward to getting to know you. Ultimate pop sensation. <laughs> Ultimate idol. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. In that pleasant set I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's our lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason why I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Hi. I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. Huh? Hey, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto. Did? <laughs> Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Sorry, just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self, self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling about a bunch of idle chit chat. Yo, idle chit chat? Right. Sorry. You're right. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sound like Sayaka had really had something she wanted to say. Shame you die, but whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> this is like we'll never see each other again. Like you said, we can talk later. Unless they talk later, I have no idea. Yo, the name's Leon Kawada. What's up? Ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. Play for the national high school champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen spec skip that word. Specimen. Specimen. Is. Can't say a word for the life of me. You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Well, what? What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Yeah, I didn't say that word right, but whatever. Or the accent wasn't placed right. Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and that picture of you online, that's how you look then. What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. <laughs> cool. Fanboy Hitler is a game. <laughs> so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head that is part of a national team. Shaving your head like that is not part of national championship regulations. Seriously? But now, but now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest you with know. you? I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he's still this the team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. Prodigy! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. Oh my god, I need to stop doing that. Okay, there we go. So left, shoulder button hides it. Right is auto. There and triggers are skipped. Yeah. A dream for the future? Dream! My only path in life is getting into music. You feel like this, you feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter or someone on guitar, and we're all set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. Can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. <laughs> you have to. Okay. No, there's nobody else. You have to. You have to. Oh. I skipped over you. I was like, why can't I go there? Oh, did you not do that on purpose? <laughs> no, I legitimately thought I was done. What if you want to call me by my nickname? The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. I knew it. Yep. I thought you skipped him on purpose. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Oh no. You oh, are 2D. 2D. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, in that world, I'm well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> what well, kind in that of world, dream? I'm well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I just got the ping for streams. Where's my mouse? You're not using yeah. your mouse. 
I had to click back in the game. I was out of focus. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at the school festival. The event has passed. And the already. school idol festival? I know <laughs> that game. Didn't get it, of course. Saying I, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? It's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless perceptions about fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and then calls Joaquin. <laughs> no. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend his greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basis urges. <laughs> Ghost nut. Okay, now time to talk. Now to talk to those five people over there. Hey, ya. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? No, welcome to Swim Pro. <laughs> swim. Aoi Asahina. Or is that Just say Hina. Hina, okay. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. I can't read. She's even been chosen as the upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. <laughs> Titty. So, uh, what is your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. <laughs> sure, sure, I got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right yeah. now. Toto Nike. Is she, what is she doing? She kept repeating my name. Oh, she's writing it down. Moving her her finger across her palm like she's she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I don't think that's how it works. I think it's seven. Um, but whatever. I've never heard that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I've <laughs> never heard that before in my life. The first time I ever heard of that was 8th grade during Spanish. I've, I've never heard of that. Even then, they got it wrong. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell exactly how it sounds. Um, well, I have no idea. I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, we we'll to meet you. Sure, same here. Well... One thing I've learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Alright, what about you? Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. <laughs> Scratch. <laughs> yep. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed when I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice huh? to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet uh, you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jihiro Fujisaki is known for the all-cutting edge program she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, oh, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Mm -hmm. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or Thank anything. You. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> huh, I'm glad. Sorry, I trying to understand why her fans are so into her. Alright. There she is. You have plot armor, don't you? Um, can I ask for your name? Yeah, uh-huh, I got it. Kyoko My name Kirigi. is Kyoko Kirigi. Yeah, you definitely have plot armor. Hey, <laughs> yo, yeah, you already knew it. I was like, okay, what ultimate are you? And I'm like, you have plot armor. You're pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, well, you know. Well, actually, she has anyway. plot armor <laughs> until then. Oh, well, that's way in the future. I'm gonna be so sad if she dies, but whatever. Let's play the game. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real type of identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? 
No, it just meant getting invited here means that you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance, like me. But... Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Alright. Hi! Girl. I'm Junko and a <laughs> Charmed, I'm sure. Ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. <laughs> From TikTok. No! <laughs> she got more time and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazines. <laughs> magazines. Magazine covers. But. <laughs> magazine, eh? <laughs> I feel like that doesn't quite match up to her reality. Huh? Photoshop. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> junk, oh. Well, of course, they're totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? I would know. Oh yeah, you know, it's a hell and back. Well, like, computers and junk? Oh, so they aren't real. <laughs> Junko. What can we do? I thought it was Junko. Or whatever. It is, but she's saying junk, which is like, four-fifths of her name. Oh. Come on, don't ask so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. Team is when the stupid comes in. It's really normal these days to photoshop the crap out of a cover photo. If you're surprised at that, you've totally been blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make their eyes and junk super big, and tweak the skin so it looks like Sermaic and Pro- I'm not even- Porcelain. 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 No! So my dreams are getting crushed today. Hubba-ba, can't read and pronounce. Name's Mondo combination. Nice to fucking meet you. Ultimate by Gang Leader. Mondo <laughs> Just Owada. caught a cracker trying to steal my bike. <laughs> He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's in respect every op from every gang in the country. The ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. <laughs> Hell yeah. Better be careful on him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Both right there are the only ones left. Ooh, brown. Ultimate martial artist. No, oh, jeez. I almost asked her, asked her if she was a guy. The day I, I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember. She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That, that also said a bit more about her. I call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. Any incoming hopes peak soon to our reading list. Let me warn you now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think that we're exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Huh? I'm back. Hey, I snapped out of attention without even realizing it. Then, then she started to poke around and prod on my body. Ugh, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right about that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Hmm. What a shame. You're, you're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Oh, I can use D-pad too. He <laughs> said that, yes. There he is. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's what half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one's special. Biak Togami. Did I say that right? Biak oh, no. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm trying to drink <laughs> water and talk. He's the heir apparent of his family, of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are well, vast. His title of ultimate affluent progency is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Hope's Peak Academy of Throwing Money. We're done with this introduction, right? How much longer are you going to stand here? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you, dang. <laughs> Zora says to me, 
you and I will ever stand on the same level, like a king in training. Yeah, sounds about right. What about you? I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate Clairvoyant. Yasuhiro Hagukare, Kure, known as a supernova. Dude, I've been listening to that song nonstop. That's such a great mega clap, but whatever. In the psychic community, the trend of the trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really, I don't really get all, I don't really get all of that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? We're serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw and then it. I saw it. <laughs> a guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, you should grab some Bruce, Brewski sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. Oh, I'm actually 21. <laughs> I'm gonna go back a few times and see. No, oh, what's not a plus tone? <laughs> a few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ultimate Gambler. I love that game. Celestia Luden, huh? Bird. Man Bird. Ludenberg is my name. Uh, the point is, is like, this is Japan. And like, mm -hmm. it's more literal transition. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Ludenberg is my name. But if you don't mind, I would rather, I would prefer you call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, huh? right? Of course. Why do you ask? Hindenburg. You mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Lunenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. He's polite but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more of it. I guess the rumors in the thread to write about her. Self-styled Celestia Lunenberg. She's the, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. <laughs> Joey, than, um, wanna bet? Hey, yo. Other than her obvious lore of gothic lore, Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. Then they say she entered a, entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She's totally cleaned out the other. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. I don't read laughing dialogue because I think it sounds stupid. That's fine, I'm beyond deceptive. <laughs> well, she I laugh anyway. Her. Yeah. And with that, all the introductions, finally, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate. They each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, Except I'm her. Not to this. Yep. There's no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull baboons. No, that's true. I guess someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that um, all about? Listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. Huh? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came up too, we were somewhere We were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly. That's why we're freaking out. That's a great voice line. <laughs> yep. And that's not the only thing. You uh, you saw where all the windows and the classes in the hallways were, right? When I said normal glass windows, there were a bunch of big metal plates. What's that all about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um, my phone! Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere I've been. And then there's the main hall here. Front entrance is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't and there's a bunch like of turrets. <laughs> yep. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What's it doing here? Aww. There. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it? For entering a school? What? Like, yep. Kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't think like that. Cheer up. 
I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. No. So you think they wanted us they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh. Well if that's all it is, it's nap time for you me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I feel like everyone's tension is I feel I could feel everyone's ababa. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. It's him. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Wow, okay. Oh, what? Her voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I really like whoever voiced Monokuma. That's such a great voice. I couldn't, I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. She does Please such a good job. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's wow, all. Okay. I'll be waiting. I don't think I'm gonna get enough of that voice actor. <laughs> what the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. Hey, wait, you're just gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all just a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. Alright, mm. this will head on too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... <laughs> Damn, I was really looking forward to that nap too. Why oh, they have to go and kill the huh? Wait, wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> that is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm going to go too. Everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen while I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, this doesn't, yeah, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that option was totally weird. However, Maybe, but just because, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be at stake. That's not even what they said, I just made up something. <laughs> yep. But it works out. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out actually what's actually going on I here? See. Did it again. If we don't move forward, we'll learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Yeah. Can I save over stuff? Yes. Perfect. I mean, Walker would have to talk to everyone again. You can leave. They all just say, we gotta go to the gym. Oh, I have to hit B, okay. Yes. Area. All right, we're back at the movement section. I can't navigate. Well, you should know what a gym looks like. Oh. That was easy. Let's hope I don't have to do any more navigating. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> yep. God, I had no idea this Hope Street Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my ball. <laughs> and just to think, it really ain't that much different from from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Um, and why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like? Seriously, not good. They're just trying to spook us. They'll take on those metal plates later. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Dude, shit. Well, it ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. <laughs> hey where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, I too shall go. <laughs> hey, <where are> <laughs> stupid go? bitch. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. Press the Y button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Huh, okay. I can't look on anyone. Total silence. For whatever reason, 
feeling well, only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. I know there are objects I couldn't expect to. Where are yes. all those other students? Why are we the only ones here? This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Also, I don't think that's how you wear a tie. <laughs> Too bad. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So they're probably a tiny, just a tiny fraction of all their awards. And there's one more. There's the TV and the door. I guess we're going through the door then. <laughs> all of the TVs and cameras, like, they only change like every chapter. Okay. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And that, and I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, told ya, it's the totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, it just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good, then let's get things rolling. I love his voice. Oh my god, I love it. Hey, so I love it too much. Is it him? Yeah, it's him. There he is. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! Oh, what are those horns doing in the back? The trumpets. And I am this school's headmaster. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes it was. What I was seeing was... It was... <laughs> stupid. It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Oh, it's the same, um... The voice font used in the execution. Nice to meet you all! If that even is the execution thing. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. In all of that anxiety I've been carrying around, we suddenly transported into outright fear. <laughs> what? That teddy bear can talk? Calm down. I'm sure, there's just a speaker inside of it. Hey, Told you already. I'm now. not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. <laughs> Why? Wow, it moved. Dude, shit. <laughs> FNAF. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You cut me deep, deeper than the marina trench. <laughs> marina? The whole system is so complex, even though folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say stuff like that. Don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I'm just gonna bear that. Bear that? Really, you are. Unfortunately. <laughs> now then, moving along. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No, this stupid bear comes. Then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay. So, huh. he has abandoned the gag. Good morning. The bit. And then touch him and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. <laughs> the Zoom kids. <laughs> now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a little bit about what your school life will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you for students, so for potential, represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live in a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. That's some really nice hatching. In sibling. Oh, that's right, that's really nice. Anyone, everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulation, regulations of the school. Huh? Ah, now then. Regarding the end date for this communal life, never. Never. <laughs> <There's one. laughs> yep. In other words, <laughs> okay. hey Wait, did he seriously change his name? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna play the game now. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die, such as the school life you've been assigned. Huh? <laughs> yep. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so we won't like. So you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You can't just... You're saying that I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not just screwing with you. I'm no liar. 
is that you can be 100% uh -huh. sure. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond the walls ever again. But we're mementos. Cut off. <laughs> no, we're not. Oh, it's all those metal plates all over the school. They're here to keep us trapped in here? Or they're there? That's exactly what they're for. No matter how much you may yell or scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live. Huh. Feel free to live out your life here within Rectus. Oh my <laughs> god, we're gonna, he's gonna be doing this for the rest of the playthrough. Right, this Come abandoned. On. Come on now, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all, but this is just a really bad joke. Damn yeah, cut this shit out. It ain't funny anymore. You keep saying that like, You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What That's you really nice patching on this brain. I'm just in love with the character design more than the game. But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an, I, in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to figure out whether or not whether or not what I say is true. That is not what it said. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to leave your for a would be quite the problem. What's this? Come on now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided on your own free will to attend Hope Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you decide you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, well, you know. I guess I did forget to mention one way. There is one way for you to leave the school. Really? Actually, As headmaster, I've got a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. You die. Now then. <laughs> Let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment and harmony here of harmony here, we rely on the communal lifestyle. As if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they would be alone. They and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is your graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? Hoo hoo hoo. Well, you know. One person were to yep, one person were to murder another. Oh my god! Murder? Yes indeed! Stabbing, strangling. I'm not reading all those. Bludgeoning, crushing, part. hacking, drowning, igniting. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Simple as that. That's a really nice hatch. I'm not gonna get over this fight in this game. Or the artwork overall. The rest is up to you. Give it your pop give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. I chill a shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain just as flying. Beats the heck out of a human. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get seeing it get murder creates a darkened shadow of despair. It's like the game. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? They kill each other. It, it's. Huh? They kill each other. They kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. We know what it means. That's not a problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Hey, yeah, stop blabbering all of this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? blabbering? Yep. Blabbering, oh my god. What do you mean <laughs> I don't like that screen. You guys just don't get it, do you? Wow, look at that hatching! Look at him! Let us go, let us go! Keep saying the same thing over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, the school is your home, your life, the world. Got it? Yeah! And, you can, and you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, <laughs> go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Yeah. Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Mm -hmm. Huh? You know? Mm -hmm. Hey, you scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like, dude, shit. dude shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shove the hero aside. Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma. His voice is rumbling like Mondo. <laughs> Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Nope. What, you mean like your hair? You son of a bitch! 
Ronaldo roared out, and it was a sudden boom. Boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a boar. He locked onto his target. Also, Tyler's in the chat. Don't oh, see you little piece of shit. You little piece of shit. I don't know. If you're a I don't know. I don't know He's if you're speaking. Or whatever the hell. Huh? Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. What you gonna do? Shut the <laughs> you wanna see? Let me oh. here. I swear to. <laughs> hey, damn it. What? No smart ass come back this time? Piece of shit! Shut that guy, shut stop that goddamn beeping and say something. He's gonna explode. Watch out! Watch out! Oh, it. Oh. Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if Ferushi stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did. <laughs> yo. Hell. What the yeah, I'm sure she wasn't a joke. <laughs> Threw the hell up. It was a painful ringing in my ears. I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it happens in real life, i never seen anything like it. But you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. What? There's another one? Damn you! Oh, bitch. You said she tried to kill me just now. Yes. Well, yes. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning, But you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my regulations won't get off with a little swallow in the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean we're all like... Does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yeah. I'm not going to have been placed all around the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if we're caught breaking any rules, well... You all just saw what happened, right? Hoo hoo hoo. And I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't do laughs. laughs. That's just wrong. That, um, background hatching thing, that was really nice. Well? That fade and fade out. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? It's the iPads. Oh see, my god. Digital. So that's what we call it Teams. The e no! Ahem. Yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up or display your name, always make sure you have the right one. Is that gonna be important later on? Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It happens it has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Squash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep it it'll, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to a space age design, it can withstand an impact force to up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. I have no idea what happened there. I just held on to that word. You guys. You hear me when I say this a lot. When any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shit. Rules are strict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. That yes, I change the things nice. The same, thing, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings in interest. That brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy our abundantly dreary school life, and see ya. What the? It was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or kill? What happened? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Mm -hmm. If you want to get out of here alive, you have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's inhumane. Like we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed in this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... 
is what is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hmm. Right now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters so is in other words. Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. Do, 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 do. We all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized that the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had plenty. Those words had planted vicious th thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that was how my new school at BM, this school, which I'd come out of nowhere to raise the hope so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. <laughs> yeah! Go! Oh. Yay! Yay! We're done! <laughs> oh, they have a tally count at the end? Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna hop off then. No! If you if press you start, you can skip it. Thank you. We received the school press book. Yeah, sure. No. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as if I thought about that. As if I thought about that? I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that we might- that the- oh my god, I cannot read. It took everything <laughs> I had just to endure that way. For the heavy, but for as heavy as the air fell, all it took to pierce is, is, oh my god, I can't, <laughs> I'm going insane, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words, and? Kyoko, yep, so, what are you gonna do now, guess I'll die, hey. <laughs> standing around glaring at each other, point of comment was directed at everyone in the room, it helped pull us all back to reality, <laughs> right, she's right, Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. Mm -hmm. I forget such a simple fact. Tyler, that is a girl. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Is he talking about, um... Sakura, yes. Yeah, I was gonna say Hina, that's not right. <laughs> no. Please. Someone hit me, I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me, punish me, you die. Huh? But I really hope you don't. She said, if you have time to yell, if you have time, yell about it. You have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but... What is this mission exactly? Stupid idiot. <laughs> to look for <laughs> stuff, duh. What the? <laughs> and we told me to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But probably student council. <laughs> but before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monica mentioned before anything else. This is fine. True. But we stumble around with no clue what, with no clue what hap what the rules are. Oh my god, I'm going insane. True, <laughs> but if we stumble around with no clue, the rules are something like that might happen again. Yeah. All right. So then. Fine. Let's just hurry up and check out that stupid rules already. Check out these stupid rules already. What, Joaquin? What do you want, please? You so turned like on Monokuma auto. Said, Oops. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu, the icon that popped up. I selected the school regulations icon. I skipped that whole line. An itemized list appeared on the screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is unacceptable is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. 
Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be <laughs> seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your own discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blocking will graduate, unless they're discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary, because every single every single rule book gotta have that. <laughs> yeah. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen for now. <laughs> as I looked up, I saw I saw this st same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. Well then, why don't you just wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However, but if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Gamer! Yo. I, ever since we were a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... <laughs> Pog. <laughs> so what? What? He made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? So I can't afford to die here. None of that made much sense to me. But you are, but you are saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I guess you're right. Um. Hey, um, I have a question. I'm, I'm gonna stop that you die thing until it <laughs> actually happens. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes lacking will graduate, unless they're discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they're discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why, oh my gosh. why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason you have. I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as if They've been explained to it. Just don't worry about following the rules as, as if they've been explained to us. Frankly, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. No jab at me. Give me a break. More like full on stab. Mm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, oh, I did not type that correctly. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. <laughs> Damn straight. Okay then. Let's start <laughs> Damn looking. gay. I'll be going alone. What? what? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might have already started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying that we should stand around with them in order, in our miss, and make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never. Don't bother saying it could happen. You can't deny that possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when the graduation rules made clear to you. Am I wrong? Um, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> no, because you're right. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Think of how I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's supposed to mean. Such Can't say that word because it's downstairs. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule. So insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the borderless ocean. Fucking dead. Boundless. Stop it. We shouldn't fight. What? Fight, fight, fight! Fight, fight. 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 <laughs> Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you're dead. Yup. <laughs> Knockout! He okay, threw back in a heap. It was like something it was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there on my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I've kind of forgotten. Walking, the kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense has just stopped functioning. Me too, bud. I can't read common kindergarten sentences. Being around all these ultimates had blown my pieces. Man, people can't read. Everybody <laughs> knows that. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised 
I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But it just lost track of t that sense of reality. I was going to say time. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. And <laughs> die. And when I finally opened really. my eyes, what I saw was... <laughs> yeah. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I've never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the X button. Can, I have to look down at my controller every time because I'm using a PS3 controller. You can so? use this menu to check the school regulations <laughs> as a line. character. Yeah, as ca as character info in this report card section. I was gonna say square because I was looking at my controller. And, no square. For X. <laughs> no. At certain points, at certain points, maps and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load your game under the system section. Finally, press the back button to review your transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Oh my god. Most of it is just metal plates and stuff. Yeah, I thought so. There's a piece of paper hanging on my wall, which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room has been designed to, co to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remarking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please do not- or remaking, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your, rooms comes, your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that water is off during nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. For the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do with the job girls. For the voice, we believe a strong blow to the head will with any of the tools should be amplable. Don't just think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumbled the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Oh, you should have made a paper airplane out of it. <laughs> Fun. This is, must be the key to my room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? Better hang on to it for now. Uh. I'm just gonna read everything. Don't. Kind of is there well, is there anything important though? No, there never is. What kind of lint roller? So the camera what's in the drawer. I won't go over everything, I'll just go over the interesting stuff. Yes. Let's see, there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't think I really need it right now, so I'll just leave it there. Check out the PDA. Come on. Check out the PDA, and I think that's it. It's a notepad. Because the school must have given given one to each of us. Alright, let's leave. This would- oh. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> that's not leave. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. No. What? But, but don't the girls' bathrooms only have locks? That's what we just read. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? <laughs> All of them do. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... My room. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be yeah, sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers my question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. That's to get out of here. All right, now can I go? Now can I go? Yes. I'm gonna do that every time. Until I take press the wrong thing. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. There was someone waiting for me there. It was something, it was like something out of an old TV show. Wham. <laughs> ah. Your forehead injury? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> Ayaka. Sorry. And <laughs> just like a true okay? idol. I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I sit up slowly. Oh, they're gonna. No, they're gonna. Oh, that's so mean. Yeah, you see. 
I see that's it. how it kind of ruins it. Oh, oh. Hmm. You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. But to be honest, when I was playing it, I'm like, she's gonna die. I know it. And then she yeah. died. I'm like, yep. I know how it looks. But I've actually been, I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Jump! <laughs> Might as well <laughs> jump. Jump. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess that reveals my lack of... I guess that I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto. That's not the button I want to press. I was just <laughs> oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing's wrong that's here. Good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Um, Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining you hall? See. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found. But does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'm gonna go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Alright, here we go. Movement time. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> Why? I, I was not expecting movement in this game. Looking at like the trailers and stuff. Where am I, where am I going? The dining hall? Yes. Uh. Or is it not here? No, no, it's down here. <laughs> the food. <laughs> no, I don't want to look at the map anymore. You don't have to put it down to click on stuff. I still would like to see though. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um... Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Yeah, I guess that's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. No, it isn't. <laughs> Nobody was waiting there for us. We don't, we don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. I just tapped the trigger lightly and it skipped. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> right. just wait here. Isn't there a way to, um... Um... Go back and look at dialogue? It was um, back, right? right? Okay. Okay, let's just wait here then. Can I? Okay. Like huh? I said, you heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> psychic! Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Kinda sudden, I know. But here comes the tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? Cause she dies. Well. While you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you oh, press I forgot the about button, this. you go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use directional buttons to make a selection, and then A will confirm it. I need to memorize placements of the controller. I know it'll be easy, I just need to get used to it. Why is the top one? Although, yeah. Although, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever important school life. Ah, you've gotten used to it and you said already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Hey, Let's go. Um... By the way, Mikado. Huh? What is it? Do the colors have like a purple shade to them? Um... Yes. Mm -hmm. The words are purple. I can choose. I know this is kind of a. I know this is kind of continuing the self introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Continuing our self introductions? Again, I got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayaka wants to ask me something. I'm wondering what it is. Now I'm really curious. Hey. Alright, we can go back. Um. What do you want to ask me? Makoto. Did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually, I was. Uh, I, I knew, knew it. it. I never should have raced you. You made me lose. <laughs> I went there too. I was in class 4 though. You remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. 
but not a student council member. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? No. But yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you remembered me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true. But there were a lot of students. There were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. I don't read laughing dialogue, and I don't read stutter dialogue. <laughs> even though you read Monokuma's laughing. Yep. That's not even laughing. Well, yeah, okay. I take that back. I don't think you're reading Monokuma's laughing. But stuttering is a no. <laughs> yeah. That's... That somehow mysterious smile on hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. Uh. Even though she dies, I really like her as a character. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you, the w but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. But and to thank you for helping me out, I'm gonna be your ultimate assistant with the ultimate first death. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm gonna be your assistant now. Or I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can. Let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it just gets me pumped up. Which is nice, but still. Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock here somewhere. Right there. Okay. I bet if I just talk to her, it's gonna say the same stuff. Um, so, what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock? At night? Um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in a place- If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um. I can't believe no one's here, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like- it's he Almost like he timed it. It's like I threw open the dining hall doors right- Right as Sayaka said that. I stuttered so much. Hey. Ah, I'm a coach. <laughs> you read so. stuttered dialogue. So you, <laughs> you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that means I do. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear when no matter what it takes, just a shout always prevail. That's the second song I've been listening to a whole bunch. That's a bit much, don't you think? Now, the only thing that's missing in this dialogue is the word. Hanger, I swear, if that's in here. Soon <laughs> after that, everyone else came strolling in, one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like okay. everyone's here. Oh, he's ready. Time to start the okay, it looks like. God. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The audio keeps cutting out, so I think he stops reading. I started reading, and then he starts reading again. <laughs> the sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Give me a second. Wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about uh what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl. <gasps> Kyoko? Oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? She's no. not here. Kyo. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I took I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough. She was nowhere to be seen. Um, I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? She went in the vents. <laughs> Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because she's dead? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangely. I'm not. I already promised myself I'm not reading all that. Blood your name. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> The rest is up to you. Give it up. Give it your all to achieve the best possible outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Or she really? No, no. I'm just overthinking things. Me too, bud. And darn it, Kyoko. You're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. 
the most a uh, most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a really jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare that the first session of Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Hmm, well, you know. Hmm, what's up? I feel like I've really- I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? I may have not been the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I got. No, you've already <laughs> done so much to be my assistant. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see. Okay, I'm, just, I'm gonna hit Y so I don't forget. Biaku. Biakuya? Is that how you say his name? Biakuya. Whatever. And Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. Unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all. That's all for me. Really? That's it? If I uncover anything, naturally. If I'd uncover anything, naturally, I would have had more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Right, understood. I don't have to talk to- okay, I don't have to talk to everyone here, do I? What, I didn't- You hit the door. You can't talk to them. Really? I thought I could. Or is that later? You talk to all of them too, Sayaka. Okay. Okay, so since you're in the dark, but- Oh my god, I'm not reading all that again. You don't have to. Well, let's just skip to the new stuff. I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and there I made the discovery of the center. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. <laughs> well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. What? It was obvious. <laughs> so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. Unless they aren't. Any room key was attached to a key owner's name, precision edge. Owner's name persistent etched into it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And plus. And Shihiro and I found that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. The next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each of us have a each room also has a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathroom on the bathrooms in the girl forms. Huh? But when I checked the bathroom door before. It definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay. So they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better have them. Better have them. Well, better to have them have not. That's a weird sentence. No one else struggling. Yeah. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That. That can't. Oh my God! I read a stutter. <laughs> <laughs> And I see the other one for report too. That can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Now can I talk to everyone? No, no you talk to her. I really have to talk to everyone through Sayaka. Um, yes. <laughs> Just go through the text. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. <laughs> we went all up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of the any of those metal plates to come up. And what happened was hmm. nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut this off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad. It really sucks. It sucks, it's it sucks, it's it sucks, 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 sucks. I have to count that was all. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're trying to make me nervous. <laughs> God damn, get the job or something. Um, you see. So is that Kyoko? Which one? I guess that one. Rocket League! Oh no. We thought, 
Maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside. So we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing. Yo. Sorry. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with so what? Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit him with desks and chairs and nothing. Jimon, it was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. Oh, anyway, sucks. if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry. But no, I have to hold it. I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But, but there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check them out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first However. floor. We could further assume that there's something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead the way out. May lead to a way out. Um, you see. <laughs> Shut up. No! <laughs> um, you, see. <laughs> you told her to shut up, and she did. Okay, I, I almost I almost hit A again because my Y wasn't responding, and I buffered the input. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the types that are running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. With you? Like eight year old Among Us players? <laughs> what the hell are you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> hmm, forget it. Like I'd want to go anywhere with any drinks <laughs> like you. <laughs> right, that's gonna ask your body. You make me sick in my stomach. I don't even know how to react. I can say something so awful to someone you just met. Hey, come on. In the internet. Fight, fight, fight. Alright, guys. Hello, no, the down. internet. All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now, you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um. So that's what they have to say, huh? And I guess I'm the only one left. Yeah, well, let me go before you. You die. <laughs> Why aren't I look at no. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen. <laughs> Are you psychic? That's good. <laughs> no, I get spoilers. Because I'm a dog. Like this, we don't have to worry about food at least. What? Sure. For now. But even when to all that, there are 15 of us. How can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat the sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> yes. I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically every day. At least that's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while checking the fridge. Told me that and disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a rem that's... remote control. A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I, can tell. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. What? But was everything okay? He didn't try to like eat you or anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, when you can say eat, what kind of eating are we- Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get it. Come on, I man! Make, I was about to make that joke, <laughs> and I realized, come on, man. <laughs> I was also <awesome laughs> about to. You're <laughs> <laughs> looking like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, I don't think that's a good kind of drunk dude. Hiya. I'm screwing around all you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could just die any sec. She's right. He can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... Our voice cut out through the noise, interrupting Mondo. And we're all spending an awful time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I think you can afford to be so... None of you accepted the reality of the situation. Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. Does this have no background music or anything no. going on he can see there's nothing on the radio thing oh that's cool yeah she didn't say a word instead she just dropped a piece of paper on the table huh the math it appears to be a map of <laughs> your local nearby is 7-eleven <laughs> a map 
What the? Where'd you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. <laughs> yes, it does. I was about to say the trash, but that wouldn't make sense. It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. But more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out as precise in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is the Hope's Peak it's Academy? True. Well, in terms of it, it, well, in terms of its conclu construction, <laughs> conclusion. Yeah. But it looks like, <laughs> but it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations. <laughs> Infinite I kill. I don't know any of the, all the details yet. All I only found was details about the first floor. Um. But then, this really is hope speak. You didn't get kidnapped or taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn. But, what if, it but if this really is Hope Speak, where are all the other students? Come on, you guys. Let's just start talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. I don't know why I responded to that. What the hell? Why aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, you're <laughs> really? right? You people in charge of hopes we put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Good, good thing you come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. I don't read laughing What's dialogue. Your Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> you. I'm just happy, that's all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. I think you've been listening. Looking around was looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going are on? You okay with this? Is it perfectly oblivious that why the background music stop? Is it perfectly oblivious that we've been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out? Oh, with no way out. That was that's even a, a sentence. Question. Why did we... question dialogue. Or uh. Um, how your voice raised. None of us had any response to that. There it is. <laughs> we didn't want to accept yeah. that reality. But it was staring us right in the face. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! <laughs> not even joke about that. Um... Everyone just calm down, please. <laughs> Shut up! We need to stop and think about what we do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> or we could die. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying that we should just accept it? Oh, understand? she looks so sad. Aww. A you lack of a hero. A lack of, a lack of adaptability is a lack of, of a survivability. A lack of survivability. Survival isn't survival is not based on who is the strongest or who is the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. As someone who has come to the top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? No you don't. Huh? Mm. What do you mean? We all understand that we are trapped here. Which means we'll be spending the night. However, you all remember the rules regarding nighttime, right? They're gonna lock everyone in the room, aren't they? Hey, or yeah. something like that. Nighttime is from ten PM to seven AM. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. You die. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not act. Do not actually. The school regulations. You know, actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Don't eat popcorn in the middle of text. <laughs> but why? Are you okay with this? No. The way things are now, every time- Oh my god, Brayden, get out of the way. Every- Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I was Brayden in the way. He keeps saying stuff in server, and it keeps getting in the way of text. I'm every good. time night- every, every time night comes, we will all- start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and kill us. Huh? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night, if we have to worry about that night after night, for who knows what, it will wear us down in no time. I see. 
that you're suggesting that we limit. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as as cat the <laughs> Good God. <laughs> like the other rules. No one can be forced to comply. We all have to agree on it. <laughs> Excuse me, how is it? I see what you mean, but I think we can agree on that. It's like little goth Lita said. Without something like that, we're gonna be self-destruct. We're just gonna self-destruct. We're gonna be self-destruct. <laughs> yep. Listen to me. No, I'm just gonna be my occupation. When I grow up, I wanna self-destruct. Teenagers. What? Hey, you just can't. Ju hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. Fine. Yeah, I can. So everyone is in agreement. <laughs> Good. Then, if you excuse me. Huh? Huh? Where are you going? Let's see. It's almost night time. I want to take a shower before it drives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... So, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go f go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Adaptability. Mm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Um, meeting disbanded. Yep. <laughs> right. Yep. What say? What? Well then. What say <laughs> That's we wrong. All... I'm not even gonna read it. Like she said, it's almost night time right now. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Why read a sentence that's wrong? Do and you know it's wrong too. Anyway, do we really have to say the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go long without getting some sleep. This so, we might, so we have to just give up. That's all fun and good for today. But what do we do tomorrow? So in the end, our only option is to split up and look around again and let any everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Here. You go. Okay. Let's do that. Aww. We're done for today. Good. I'm exhausted. What type of movements? Everyone headed off to the private room. Um. Okay. <laughs> I ready to call for a day? Yeah, let's go. Is this really where I'll be staying for this foreseeable future? No, oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? No, oh, would you look at that? It's already centered. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, let's open it up. Rattle, rattle. Oh, I don't even have to say it. It really is locked. There he is! <laughs> boo, boo. Oh, it's not locked. He's talking about an overreacting. It looks like you just saw a ghost or something. Like, some kind of robot bear ghost. Well, what are you doing here? Makoto and Nagi, this is a super, a super duper majorly bad. It's so bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. You sound like a kindergartner. <laughs> <laughs> in point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it will open isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Didn't you see- oh my god, the hashing. Didn't you see the notice? Why? Can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' rooms don't have locks. I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's why I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob and lift it up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and the door while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See, it opened right up. I don't have to read that. Isn't that crazy? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? Looks like you're not lucky at all. <laughs> ultimate unlucky student. And that makes sense, because he's here. Hey, got him. Hey, what do Damn it. Wait, what? What? Why are there two M's? Because that's how you say it, right? I thought it was D-A-M-N. -M. That's how I spell it. That's a damn nit. But he just said damn. Yeah, he said damn it. 
It is now oh. 10 p.m. But it well, is as one word. Nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. You can bet I'm just boring my popcorn right now. Okay then. <laughs> Bored. Dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's our time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed my, my into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. <laughs> it's not like I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fant fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope Speak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go. But I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Cedar. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a board pop break because I'll just hit um, a occasion. Alright. I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Host Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! Into a new hell. <laughs> Go to hell. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Do we get more Monokuma's voice? Good yes. morning, yeah. everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! He's so talented. Anyway, er, apparently it's morning. Thanks to the total lack of windows. There's no way. To, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayako, and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna go to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Sweet, I don't even have to do it. What's up, Toko? <laughs> Nothing that is not Toko. Or Taka. Whatever. Good morning. <laughs> Yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Does it tell me where everyone's room is? Come on. Oh. Oh, we're neighbors. <laughs> yep. A room? Hello? Is anybody home? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Aw. Um, listen, listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Um, I'm just going to get out. <laughs> if it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, no. um, oh, um. I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack at any time. You never know. Whoever shot this here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. He's right. You never know when they might attack. So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself. Well... Now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, like I'm, I said psychic. I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have an amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, wish I had to the gym. For everyone who just hates walking around the school, we got some good news. 
I just saw the word teleport. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbooks menu. It's as super simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and hallways and marked waypoints. But you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that have been blocked up. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, trying to teleport. Oh. He can't actually <laughs> do that. It's just a joke. Yeah, I just got backrooms vibes. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god. I feel so weird. Just have game break fourth wall like that, but whatever. Well, it's yeah. just a game part. Tutorial, but still. That's a pretty funny. Second time, man. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Nagy, Miss Maizono, what are you two off to? Man, the woman. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did you to talk to him? Like when, like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation, and over the course of the story, they fall in love. Yeah, and one dies. Yeah. <laughs> but to say. How very poetic. Hey, um. Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? I have no I have idea no what you're idea. talking about. You both reference different videos. Nope, I don't have a clue. I'm just taking the long way around. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you running? Where do I where do I have to go? The gym. Gym, yeah, right. I hope you are well. Well, hello. I I hope the two are you are having a nice okay. day. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> and changing such common greetings is somehow strange, is given the circumstances and everything. You know, sometimes you scream a little. <laughs> well, I'm off. Hey, um. Should we get going? Yeah. Hey, dang, what can I will run? Jeez. That's cafeteria. It's with the other area. Yes. So not down here, but down here. No. I think. Or where, where do I go? Go left. You see the outward sign? Oh. The gate? Yep. Oh, that's right. Okay, okay. I'm trying yep. to get that in my head. Right now we're in the hotel. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> hotel Mario. See, I'm not, I'm not going to should, I, should I talk to everyone? If you want to. Why not? Toko together with those other two. Quite a combination. What's your Combos. <laughs> what do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no. I was just thinking you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. They hang out with two other people who have muscles when their where their brain should be should be is not by choice. Just a second. Wow, that was super mean. Mm. Yesterday you were complaining about how no one invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Mm. I mean I never asked you to do that. Stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Mm. Geez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should just go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. No. Oh yeah, good point. They're like water and oil anyway. <laughs> oil. Did get along. <laughs> oil floats on water. Wait, what's over here? What is this room? That's the entrance hall thing. Oh, okay. And I'll take Watson's advice and I will run. And there you go. Hope you're happy. <laughs> Why is he telling you to run? I don't know. Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Yeah, yeah! I'm sure I'll find something in this display case I can use. I'm not, I'm not going in there. I'm just gonna avoid, um, hitting that TV altogether. Probably the sword, but I'm gonna hit everything but the sword. <laughs> Damn. Dude. Helmet, tomorrow's something I found this player. Oh. You got a coin. A plot. A plot? A plot? Are you serious? A like AF2? I guess it's time to commemorate some sort of championship. Yeah, let's just let's get the sword out of there. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still. It's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in gold coating. 
but geez, I barely touched it and got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self defense, I think it's a little flashy. Oh, no better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um. You should take it with you. It might help live in your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd be better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it up in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, I'll protect you. Yep. <laughs> I'll protect you. Huh? <laughs> Psychic. Protect you. Thank you for saying that. If I, if I got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. That's funny. That's really funny. What? <laughs> you know. I promise myself I wouldn't say it. <laughs> I to look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, you can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Aww. aww. They want to increase your bond with her before they, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. You know that I said I wanted to talk to you. But now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's really nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. You can just, I don't know, throw off into space or whatever. But that's awkward. Mm. We're social human beings. Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored. Just standing around doing nothing. Um, no, it's not that. It's super boring. It's just... I... Hey, I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. Oh, yes, that makes sense. That's me. <laughs> I've already grind for finals enough. <laughs> the 50-50 grind. Time. You got tons of stuff to do every day. Hey, um, it's kind of out of nowhere, but... But, uh, you have a dream? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? Hi. I love to hear. My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know? And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was just really lonely. But all that changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. <laughs> But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I want to be someday. I want to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing though. You were actually able to fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's truly really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, even if some things weren't so pleasant. Oh, there was a thing there. Huh? There was ellipses there. I honestly believe that as long as you keep chasing your dreams, someday they'll come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off that dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, can make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you'll get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun oh, at all? No. Oh no, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But, but that's exactly what scares me. Aw. Uh, um. I enjoy every single day when I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like a family to me. Without them, I wouldn't have given up on my dream a long- I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why- But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways? Sayaka. He's trembling. He must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is, she must be terrified losing it. Well, that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Um, well, they say that if you graduate from here, 
success is basically guaranteed. That's funny. <laughs> Which means I could keep on performing with- That's funny. I guess that's what I thought. Aww, aww. I really did believe that. But, now that we're trapped here with no way out, you're probably waiting for me. Waiting for you to die. Oh, I'm in here. Hey, up shut up. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still. Sayaka? Can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from a, from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way. The dream she put on she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. That isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The way she's carrying, I can't even imagine sorry. it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um, Kinda killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go into the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay. <laughs> you want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? <laughs> Chili oil. <laughs> Give me the god of <laughs> I put on the crazy hamburger. <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. The earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I've quickly grown used to. But how happened so far? Son of the mouth. mask. Like some kind of neutral expression. Dude, we've been, I've been out this for like, what, two hours? Dang. This is great. It's a good game, but it's just so long. Before we oh, yeah. get to our room. Oh, yeah. You're probably mm -hmm. impatient because you're waiting for a future event. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go, Joaquin. What, what did he say? He's raging at FNAF, but he finally beat it. <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> He's playing 20, um, Nightmare Mode, FNAF 4. Okay. Which is 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, 720. I got that. Well, like, Yo, 720, 2020? then to 120. Free time. Yeah, I don't know how to play the game. So who's your favorite? As you live out your school up here, he'll be given free time. I'm gonna bore popcorn again and read. You can also give them presents. You can go in the school store and get presents. You can get Buffett swag. <laughs> <laughs> if you talk to them, you get stuff on the report card. Huh? What? Donation? What? I don't know. Did you hear uh -huh. that? Yeah, I heard that. You heard the bit donation noise? Yeah. You trolling me? Oh, cool dude is now following. Okay. They're following. Yay. Yay, yay. Thank you, you can cool dude. <laughs> Which will prove useful as everything plays out. I mean, that's kind of weird to- oh, he sent me a message. That's kind of weird to think that a random person just kind of hopped on, or whatever. It's a stream, what do you expect? You yeah, it's a stream. Yourself, and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that when you talk to a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage every time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. Now my question is to you, since you played the game, does free time, or does talking to people actually impact what happens? No. Okay, but so you I get to hang out with the characters, which is good. Yeah, sure. Oh, <laughs> do you want to? Yeah, sure. Why not? But only this time. Because if it doesn't you... really contribute to the story, I don't really see a point. Is she in her room? If you pull up the map, it shows people. Um, but she is there. Yo, Mikado. I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm. Should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Um, yeah. Are you gonna try to cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take your time. Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to try to comfort Sayako. 
Oh, do we not even get to see the conversation? Okay. Well, I don't really have anything, so no. There's conversations um, after. Photo? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Well, it's just that... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions. But... I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing there face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice. But kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? Oh, thank you for your flattery. That smile. The mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile mm. saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never had the chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because, yeah, it's because you're a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at hey, you? Um, because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? What? But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But, why me? Um... No, get... Oh no! Frasmophobia! <laughs> okay, back to the game. Do you remember during the first year of junior high that huge bird watered into the school pond? Actually, now that you think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was out of a fairy tale. The turtle comes every. Mi the turtle. The turtle wants every million years. That bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. It's like, oh no, they're not even gonna give me anything. Crane, I think. Do it. Okay. Yeah! It just walked right okay. into the pond. That's right. That's right. It was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> well, you led it into the forest behind the school. You hoped it find its way out. Well, <laughs> one is the grammar. <laughs> Only because I was already in charge of... I was already in charge of taking care of the animals in school. They the alpacas! I should have said thank you then, but... Is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm not crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. What? Honestly though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we meet up again at the train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's just this I... weird school. Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll you save see. me. Aww. It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm gonna save her? I'll be my best. I promise that. <laughs> funny. Make sure it's more funny. Than just intuition. Funny, funny joke. <laughs> Anything I can do, I'm gonna do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be like right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> just kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we got, the stronger that smiles of her make. Go back. The closer we got, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. Okay, I was glad to feel that way. Psycho's report has been updated based on your experience with her. You have just unlocked the skill, Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Yay. Oh, you get skills. That's why you should talk to people. You get skills and SP points. But do they contribute to like the actual game? Yes. Oh, okay. So there is a point. I forgot okay. about that. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Let's talk to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hey, talk who's to your Sarko. favorite? Huh. <laughs> oh, you only oh, get one it? this time. Okay, um, he reads it, so I'm gonna have another pop on break. As such, it is God. <laughs> what? <laughs> I skipped the first thing. It doesn't matter, he says the same thing every goddamn time. Okay then. Oh my god! He says it like 20 times throughout the entire game. Same exact line. Yeah, but that's less time for me to snack. <laughs> Too bad. And then he's already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna find some kind of clue. I swear. Theater! As my eyelids began to close, 
the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. Shawty. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, save the joke. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel the, I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt, I just won't be able to match up. I just made up, I just let them- Hey, <laughs> yep. And that's fine. I might explain my own frustration. Oh my god! Wrong button. <laughs> the map. Or the handbook. Theater. Your turn. Okay. Ahem, so I'm sure you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, some still have hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? I'm be waiting for the end of class. Heart pounding excitement. Doki Doki. Ah! <laughs> doki Doki at the I'd end be of so Epic Yarn. I'd so scared if I heard that voice clip in this game. <laughs> oh, oh no. I'd be a, oh no. <laughs> yep, I would be too. That would be the biggest bra moment ever. <laughs> brought in a syrup. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rock. Get ready, Get to ready for another beautiful, beautiful day. day. Morning has come. I was like the gorilla song. No, that's November has come. What should I do today? <laughs> Free time. I already talked to Sayaka, but I want to talk to someone else. Funny joke, let's talk to Taka if I can find him. Go to the map in your ebook. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, map. Okay, this is weird, okay. And then you can use bumpers to switch the map. Oh, interesting. Oh, he's in the white bathroom. him. Because he has to take a piece. You know, I'm. Whoever I find him is gonna stumble upon, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Alright. That gives me a chance to like walk around the school a little bit more, too. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. I guess I'll talk to Leon. What's up, bud? Hey, you bastard! <laughs> what are you doing, Mikado? We gotta hurry up and find a way out of here. Hmm. Just hang out with Leon for a while. Yeah, why not? Like... <laughs> Leon? Sure! <laughs> You're not trying to get me alone so I can kill me. So you can kill me, are you? Mm. My fans will all go psycho on you. Psycho on you if you do. I'm as popular as an international superstar. <laughs> what if you're not gonna murder me? Then let's hang out for a while. I don't really want to be alone anyway. Buddy system. Spend some time with Leon. <laughs> Leon and I grew a little bit closer today. Nah. <laughs> you don't even have anything. <laughs> yep. Now I'm just pissed off. Hey, you bastard. Why? Why is this happening to me? This isn't a fair, man. I mean, am I wrong? Oh, um... Yeah, this really isn't it. Hey. Right? Totally unfair. Ultra unfair. Just like having to shave my head right before every baseball game. Well, I mean, you chose to do that, right? Come on, man. Are you against me now, too? I didn't even want to play. But the coaches and all the teachers begged me, so I did it. And then they made me shave my head just because it's tradition. How is that fair? You really hate baseball that much, huh? Aww. Damn straight I do. Who has fun running around on a dusty field for three hours? Me playing kickball? <laughs> yeah. Or for baseball players. The field is like a sacred ground, isn't it? But it's so not cool. Spending all that time at practice getting covered in sweat hey, and dirt. It's just baseball, right? It's easy. Who needs practice? <laughs> I think the gods picked the wrong person to bless this. <laughs> but to bless with this much talent. Oh, yeah? Still, I gotta admit, baseball wasn't all bad. It did have a few things going for it. Yeah, right? Like the feeling of... Comrade... Yeah. Comrades. 
<laughs> sure, there's a feeling of comrades between you and your teammates. Seriously? Nah, nothing like that. Can't stand being around a bunch of sweaty guys. So totally uncool. Me during gym. Then, what do you like about it? Well, I hate studying, right? But I still got into like, this super fancy school on a sports scholarship. As long as I kept playing, I never had to study. And besides that, it made me super popular with the ladies. Booyah, you jealous? No. After third base and more reason one, if you know what I'm saying. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> me when I got, <laughs> I got plenty of, I got plenty more where that came from. I'll tell you more about it next time. Anyway, let's hang out again sometime. After you helped me keep my mind off this place. With a smile on his face and a spring in his step, Leon strolled away. I'm not really sure why, but I guess Leon likes hanging out with me. Leon's a poor card. I'm not reading. Um. Robot Jock. Once we're all done, I head back to my room for a little while. Oh, there's more? Yeah. Usually you get two in a row. Yeah, sure. Right, let's just wander around again. No, I already talked to you. Go away. <laughs> Shut up. Laundry? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, they are spending... Are there even people here? Yes. Oh, yeah, there are. Hey, <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> TikTok is a swimmer. Let's talk to swimmer. <laughs> I cannot, I'm not talking to TikTok. <laughs> Why not? Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. Matsuo. We get out to do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Hmm. Should I hang out with Hina for a while? Yeah. Hina? You know? I want to go for sure. a run to relieve some, some of the stress. He and I went for a light run throughout the school. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? I don't have anything. I'm broke. Oh man. Oh man. What's you up? can't get one item. I'm getting you have one coin. Item. What? How come? <laughs> how come? I, how come it doesn't matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand that's a chance right. anyway. Really? The race well, fandom is dying. <laughs> well, hold on. Do I seem so excited to Hina? Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Mm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, you know, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz. Yeah. yeah. Like you see me wearing shorts in the winter and he'd say stuff like that. Mm. But if you but if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. <laughs> we'll wait till I get frostbite. Well, you did <laughs> yep. stuff like that and didn't get sick? Getting sick is for the week. If you're really dedicated, which are even means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay, I got the perfect remedy. Rem remedy. Remedy. Is it, what, did I get it right the first time? <laughs> yes, I'm pretty okay. sure. Remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? Kind of remedy. Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every morning. You just rub down to your waist and take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it. Call it. Uh. Huh? What do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Quiz time. Oh, <laughs> 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 Get up. <home. laughs> Something like. Oh, that one was <laughs> obvious. Oh my god, yeah, that's it. Literally, oh one of the questions, it literally just shows a screenshot of the game when you look it up. Because it's so obscure, it only has to do with this game. <laughs> it feels amazing. I never let, um, I'll never let a morning pass without getting a good rub down. Wait, you know, you go to your back in the end. <laughs> that? And you're okay with that? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Give it a try. You haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I hate to see you catch a cold or something. Hina's report card has been, has been updated based on your experience with her. The maximum number of skill points have increased. Hey, look at you go. I like how it encourages you, dude. That's nice. Yeah. After a while, I went, after talking to Hina, I went back to my room for a while. Hit me with the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Hey, <laughs> ding dong, ding dong.
announcement. It is now 10 p.m. God, when is something going to happen? Soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay, then. <laughs> soon. I mean, I didn't want to read the last dialogue. I well, it's kind of like you're doing two yeah. chapters because you did the prologue as well. And before I knew it, I fell into, into an uneasy sleep. What is there to talk about? The you theater. Know, I needed an immediate, fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. <laughs> you literally think you're Sonic. <laughs> That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. A straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or the breaststroke. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are, you are wrong. You are very wrong. <laughs> no, that's wrong. wrong. <laughs> you are very wrong. <laughs> but in reality, it all comes down to preference. But I can tell you, they're, they're the same thing. They're the same thing. One's on your stomach, the one's on your back. <laughs> drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. I mean, I guess. What I'm saying is, speed is a gold standard of the standard world. Wow, so you're calling backstroke slow? That's. Which is so dumb for. I got it. Oh. Yo, I'm reading the theaters. Does that mean I'm the theater kid? I don't know. Good sure. Go morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, that's so bad. The that was scary. Welcome to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pull myself out of bed. Monokuma's voice is great. I don't know what he's complaining about. Well, if you're forced into a murder game, then probably sure. just a little. Another night of rest of sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought has crossed my mind. You know. I'm tying up my doorbell force this queen to my room. Check the bathroom. <laughs> no. Well, there you go. A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka? Mm. Now then, if you pardon the interruption, without waiting for a reply, Taka bars into my room. Leave. <laughs> What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may, bent, may batter me, I will not follow as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand. And if you think you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all need to really come together. At which point I realized, every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast Quiet together. Down and, listen. and that was the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. And that's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I bet yeah, I guess I better head to the dining hall. Oh yeah, let me just bore this lint roller really quick. Oh, here we go. We are Run! Mmm. We are headed this way. Far grip. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> I'm straight. Is that what the cool kids call it? Are you sure? Listen to me. Okay, looks like everyone's here, so let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come Give here. Me a break. I didn't make time. <laughs> you dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but 
In order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the announcement. Now then, let's eat. You, you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed through the dining hall. Wow, okay, so when they say seriously? the word through, I say through out, and when they spell out for me through I say through. Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey. Anything. It can be how to get out or who's doing this. No one has anything? Are you okay with this? <laughs> you're about to die. Or you're going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't oh, I <laughs> just skipped the voice clip. If you can't stop yourself from showing weaknesses in front of others, you will die. Stop it! The hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? Yep, and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? You've gone completely insane. Adapt to my new life here. Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, what? sounds like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But she can't. Piece of shit! No way in hell I'm gonna be here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure, feel free. Oh no, I read a lot. Uh... Okay, so... No one has any clues? What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all of this. Is who's behind all this? Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else will we be trapped here in the first place? Hey, listen! Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Um... Uh, oh, you said it for me. What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are abnormal or really bizarre... You think maybe... Um... You think maybe the person responsible for this could be a certain murderous fiend? A murderous fiend. You hear yeah, not really. I have some idea who might be behind all this. Mm. Well, maybe. I can't really be certain, but certainly certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow uh, whatever remarks you have. You know? Okay. Well, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? I mean, the serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet. The monstrous villain who murders scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust is left at every, each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. So it's FNAF floor. Yeah, so they say he's been over a thousand victims. Well, uh, I'll take that back. Then maybe not that extreme. <laughs> not really. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean... I mean, even then, 10 people would be totally insane. Mm. Anyway, what for Genocide Jack it really is. He's obviously, obviously some kind of super crazy killer. And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he put together something like this. But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if they're the killer, isn't that, isn't that like a killer of a... Isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Uh -huh, funny. It's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100%, without a doubt, everything is going to be okay. Oh, uh, that's a weird sentence. Because help's gonna come here. I'm sure of it. Help? Because, I mean... We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? No one's been able to contact us. So I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> That's a consistent spam. What's this? The pow pow. You're putting your face in the police. <laughs> what are you doing here? You guys. We haven't heard soccer in a long time. You guys, seriously. You understand what both the police exist to fill? All they're good at being all they're good for is being a foil playing against a villain or anti hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them. And that just shows you how badass they really are. Are you sure you really want to rely on such an unreliable group of leaders? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I mean, come on. If you really, really want to get out of here, all you have to do is kill. <laughs> I don't be laughing at all. What the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, the hell do you want? I'm not. 
Mr. <laughs> Serial Killer Psycho <laughs> Freak Bastard, huh? It's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on! You know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, I'll just go away. You son of a bitch! Hey, <laughs> don't ignore me, Uncle. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple of days have gone by. No one's killing anybody. I thought all of you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I Wait, I think. Yes, I figured it out. You got it. All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. Why isn't anyone killed anyone yet? There's no motive. Is that seriously it? There's, there's one. That's one. Oh my god. That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there was one very, very important piece missing. What are you? Ching. If you want to know, I'll tell. Oh, it's money. Yep. That makes sense, though. It's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? The hard talking about. Hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to Go to the AV room. Stop changing the goddamn subject. I have a little video. <laughs> I'd like both. Hey, oh, shit post status. There's <laughs> nothing like that. Special video for each of you. I'm showing you what's going on outside of school. Outside of school? What are you talking about? Oh, mass master is so impatient today. Why don't you just watch and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch that video. Good, so you can get to watching that video right now. But before we do that, I have to know. What are you? What are you? Why are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know, I don't like it. Despair. Like Despair. That's all. That's all. Oh, well, you're not I supposed really to like it. Well, now. <laughs> if you want it, then I guess they got their point across. If you want to know more about that, you'll have to figure it out by yourself. Mm. Do whatever you want to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. <laughs> just to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you too. And once again, he left before we could find out anything Is useful. Right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. However, Interesting. Perhaps. What about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo starts glancing around. Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. When his gaze landed on me, Hell he stopped. Yeah. Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? No. Because they're closer to the door. That's the rule, right? Because you're boring. Oh, <laughs> you don't sound okay. Nigerian at all. Piece of shit! Stop Yo. fucking around! Yo, passionately I'm begging you. What's the big deal? Just check it out really quick. Okay. Hell yeah! Awesome. Thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um. Makoto's going. I'm gonna go with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Aw. Yeah, sure thing. They were counting on the both of you. Funny. Just yell, and I'll come running. Will it make sense to look for fun? Will your brain get smart and your head get dumb? <laughs> yeah, I have to say that it's kind of both, you know, exactly a bad person. <laughs> but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. But well then, where's this specific place one can run into? AV be room. somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... Place set up to watch DVDs, then... Go to bath, school. Obviously. <laughs> no. Is That's it, not the school. in the other room. Nope. This way. I'm gonna do that every single time. Yeah, if you walk into a wall, you keep like all momentum, and you keep moving. Oh, is it this way? So, what's you have a map. Room? That's right. Here. Yeah. AV room. I love the cardboard for that salad. This game is great. Huh? There's something inside this cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. I better tell everyone. He just ran off. I didn't follow after. I just stood right where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. It was rooted in place. I think I see something. Do I inspect it again? 
or did they want me to inspect everything? Nixon and Mommer was a high-end DVD players. So I'll probably play the... Yeah, okay. They wanted me to inspect that. Yep. Let me go back to this skip that. It's a cardboard box that the DVDs were in. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. I'll probably play those DVDs no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs. I found my I found in the box and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and started stared intently at the darkened screen. And then It's her! Uh -huh. Komaru, on ah, the left. I yelled out without realizing it. My heart started racing. Because what I saw on the monitor was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? And <laughs> doesn't even have her name. But something gonna happen, isn't it? How'd the music change? Because <laughs> he's psychic. Not really. So that was a really long popcorn break. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Uh, okay, I'm gonna start reading again. It looks like a war zone or something. I was definitely reply. Her voice came floating out from the speakers. I recognized that voice. Of course, it was him. Makoto Naegi, accepted into Hope Geek Academy. And right, his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? You choose the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> next time this? on Kill the Kill. Oh no, I read this. <laughs> you. Story, right? What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me. Like hot dog bun. Can't say word. Really? <laughs> you can't say god damn it. Well, not anymore. I was in my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. Yeah, me too, bud. I have to get out of here right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Okada? Um. What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance of the AV room. They stared at me. Faces full of confusion. Um. What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Like Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What's on them? They all gathered around the box and each grabbed a DVD with their name on it. And by run, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take them long. They didn't take them long. Oh my god. I didn't take them to react. What the? Yup. This can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. Yeah, no way this is real. No way. Can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew they'd all be saying something. They all seen something like what I'd seen. No one even bothered to try to hide their fear and confusion, except for her. Even then, even now, she was totally calm. I see. This is what he meant by motive. He wants to, to fuel our desire to leave so that we can most, so that we're most likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is a classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm. Huh? I can't believe you bought Phasmophobia, dude. I can't believe it. Her <laughs> Phasmophobia! That's a bad top lift there. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each of them commits to s scaling back the forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country might betray the other, so each, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Understand? In other words, they feel the invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. The fear. <laughs> that sounds kind of like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, 
but in our hearts we're all afraid that someone might betray us. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? Can't say that. But maybe you're thinking that one that once everyone drops their guard, you can just what? What is this? Huh? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever is behind this wants. They want us to fight. Don't you see? No. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then. Maybe we should start like uh, maybe we should start by Oh my god. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Besides, I don't think we're all curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, it's Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? <laughs> What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Oh no. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on my shoulder. Stop it. He pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Sayaka? That's enough. There we go. Can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's actually because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my old things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went off their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. And I would love to talk to everyone here, but I don't think that's a required thing. And I'm trying to turn around to leave, but I can just press B. Yes. Or could you Sometimes gone? you can't go through the door. You can't have gone too far. I just check around the school. But over here. Probably one of the classrooms, right? I would assume. Yes. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. okay. I'm gonna press B to run. Hmm. Probably this one. Probably the closest one. That makes sense. Oh. Hmm. Found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was hand on her knees, turning absolutely on the floor. She was like maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have an expression at all. There was nothing on her face you could call an emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are we doing such terrible things to us? I feel so bad. Charitable? Monotone his voice. Or a monotone voice. Voice. Why? I went out. Let me out of here right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrust her on, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think what might have happened to your family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Do the videos have to be fake? Besides, if those things really have happened, people out there would be in an uproar. The families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we're, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much. Just as much as her. I kept repeating word, those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find someone, some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. Aww. When I said that, I paused. I sure hope you did. I had no idea what came over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. My voice was small. Why? Thank you. Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Undertale. <laughs> Finally, she raised her head up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Can I believe what she said? Huh? Are you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? 
Absolutely. But you're the only one I can trust. So please, no matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what happens, no matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Cause I'm your assistant! Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I've come to know so well returned her face. I've had a little force, but still, it was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> yep! I'm not reading this. I'm gonna go pause so other people can read it. Do, do you even have to ask your flagpole? You can get the hell out of here. Just a minute. No, no, I want to join. <laughs> Damn it, well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. It's about to oh, come no. out. It's gonna come out my pristine, no. pure white yeah. stuffing. All this innocent stuffing is about to come. They knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> what well, duh? I bought up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, telegraphing it, and let go with everything I had. Wow. Are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. Boy, are you slow, 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 slow. I could have gotten a thousand dollar full course in dinner in the time that it took for you to finish this game. Speed, agility, alertness, passion, fullness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Um. The heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Um. Well, for now, you just want to head back? Yeah. Hanakuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Say, okay, more dorms. <laughs> you should get some rest, Ayaka. You still look pretty Sorry. shaken. Sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm gonna lay down for a bit. With a nod in a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once I was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I need some rest on my own. I, I love the color cutout style. It's so good. It's so good. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. Me and Steven Council. <laughs> I can't even decide what the biggest means. <laughs> that, that we're trapped in here? That what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problems? I want to get out of here. I could never kill someone. Do all the others feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Hey, psychic. It's almost five o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Night time's about to start. Someone's here. Oh my god, get me out of here. Yeah, dang. <laughs> Flagpole. Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. My body was trembling. Is everything okay? I'm sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Just a little while ago, I was laying down, laying down in my room, and all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in of force. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. Well, what happened? 
Oh no, I read a stutter statement. After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside, but there was no one there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? It's not like I'm suspicious of everyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't just go outside during that then. And that's just the promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, then why don't you just stay in my room? Oh no, why don't you stay in my room tonight? Why does that make you feel a little better? Huh? Alan like said in the school regulations was that we have to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? They didn't specifically, they didn't say specifically which room each person had to sleep in. Hey, um... So, but two people sharing one room is. I didn't think of it Bad. like that. Ah. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think of <laughs> like that. Flagpole. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. No, I know, me neither. It's not like, it's it's not even that I mind the idea. But, um, if you don't mind, maybe we could switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms. <laughs> switch rooms? Oh no, sure. I read a stutter statement. I'm reading it like I'm supposed to. If it'll help you put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But, I don't mind you staying in my room. But, are you sure it'd be okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine, I trust you. In that case, then. Say the line! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Um. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I head to your room right now. Oh, and if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys. Yeah. Ah, that's right, we'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Hey, aren't you gonna say that we were just kidding? What if I wasn't just kidding? <laughs> Something resembling a smile had made her has made its way to her face. Thank goodness, it looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we better okay. trade keys in. Yep, let's do it. We changed keys and when I looked back up at her again. There's another worried, worried expression there. Mikado, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, then open no matter what. I won't. I just slurred. What words did I just slur together? I just slurred it and no together. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, and by the way, just so you know, my bathroom tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift the door out while you pull it out. You just do that and the door should open, no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during that time anyway, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning. Thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before... Hmm? <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you tomorrow. So I gave me one last parting smile, and I was headed off to, and I headed off to my room. I looked around as soon as I got into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's no one here. Making sure no one was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. <laughs> Take a look at the trash can. Wow. Well, kind of weird to Huh? That's... It was the CD. Card. It was a DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me. I never did get a chance to find out what was on there again. It's probably best if I wait. If I wait until she brings it up again. Okay. The bed itself looks exactly the same, but... Knowing Sayaka slept on it, it makes me look forward to trying it out myself. <laughs> 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 coin. 
<laughs> you just... Huh? Do I, do I have inspect everything? If I remember all right. If I remember, if I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. Well, what else is there? A security camera? Maybe the sewing kit. Maybe I need to look at the sewing kit. I oh, even came with a toolkit, but Sayaka has a sewing kit, just like No said. And next to it is a map of the body's vital organs. I don't think Sayaka would like me sleeping around too much. I'll probably go to bed soon. There we go. Okay, so you had to like look at stuff. Yes. I had to load myself onto Sayaka's bed. I wasn't fragrance to envelop me. In the scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Not. Feeling a little better than before. I fell asleep. Theater. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. Among us. <laughs> You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We got set sail and er left Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. TF2. <laughs> you don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but... Even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of shit you call Earth, And please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Wait. What? Oh no. What? <laughs> oh no. Morning, what? Everyone. <laughs> I think I know what's about to happen. <laughs> what? Time to rise and okay, we heard this. Can we play the game? Shut I up. <laughs> I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. Three viewers. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered. Oh, you're looking at my stream? No, I have it open on my iPad to see the delay. Oh, so one of those viewers is you. Yep. And one of them is me. So there's a random. Hello. Hello or Sarah, Tyler. The way toward the dining hall. But we can't confirm that. Unless you can. No. No one's talked for a while. A few people have already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got here. Hello Makoto, good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> this wasn't really. Oh my god, I said that in the first curry stream too. <laughs> yep. I figured everyone here to run. And Billy Hatcher in the blue egg. Blue egg? And the ones you showed up a little late. Yo! Sorry! My makeup would just not cooperate with me this morning. Ah, I bet. Well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. If my morning <laughs> took a little longer than expected. Were the types of more with, with were the types with the more relaxed since the time most high schoolers fall into this category. Finally, the one to keep everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm like, <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. Bye bad, guys. Right through my alarm. What's your problem? It's so awful to be late. I didn't oversleep. Just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about the time other people in general. They kind of move up their own age. But regardless, everyone has a ride. But where is Sayaka? At least how it's supposed to go. Yes, where is Sayaka? Yeah. Yeah, Sayaka, I'm not even gonna try. Cause he's probably gonna die. I ain't here yet. I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late. What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. 
Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um, Did you forget about her breakfast however. promise? I gotta send, she ha always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk, a small dark speck of unease rose up in- Oh no. I suspect I already it quickly. Ooh, good, good song change. I gotta go. I have to check on her. The words have barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. When I headed, where I headed first was my room, where I let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, the room had completely transformed. The hell? Okay, well this is important, so I'm gonna look at everything. Looks like the lint roller has way less sheets than it used to. It's horribly. Or Sayaka. This is the replica sword I brought back for self defense. It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Stop looking at everything! There's a keychain that must be on the ground. It has my name on it, so it must be my room key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded the room. So. Yeah, okay, let's go. I better check the bathroom. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Play it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my God. No, Sayaka. Oh. <laughs> you know, I, if I wasn't spoiled to that, I feel like I'd be a lot more sad. Yeah. And then, and then, you die. <laughs> Everything went black. Huh. Ugh. I don't like how it pitched up. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was the ceiling I remembered seeing before. When I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I've seen before. It's either Taka or Hina. I'm completely wrong. <laughs> it's everyone. No, never mind. I'm good. Ah, <laughs> you're awake. Finally, are you okay? Yeah. Now's not the time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um... You were unconscious, dude. I have to carry you back here. Well. It's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? Um... Also, I don't read screaming text either. Are you okay? Yeah. So it wasn't a dream? What I saw? It was real? Hm. That's right. It really did happen. She's dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded on me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely... In so you don't know anything that happens past here? I don't think so. Okay. I don't recall. Something happens with Chihiro, I know that, but I don't think that's here. Why? Yeah, that's like way later. What? Listen to us, man. What do you think is gonna happen if you go out of there? Well, oh my god, I, I completely lost my reading ability. Well, what good is it? Well, what good is it? Oh my god, what is this sentence? Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I don't like slime. I mean, why are we all hanging out? <laughs> Home and moment. Out of time like this. Our friend Sayaka, she's dead. Dead. One said that. It finally hit me. I realized she really- What's behind her? Blood? Calm down. Okay, well, none of us would- None of us would want to be here right now either. Then why? Oh yeah, the pink's- Pink is- Or blood is pink. Yeah. Probably for censorship purposes. But I think it's nice. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma, he told us all to come here. <laughs> or they're aliens. Wait. Hold on, don't talk to us like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. Alright. So... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's so obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. No. <laughs> He's here again. Hey, um. 
Unless someone violates your school regulation, I will absolutely not interfere. Oh yeah, you haven't been here. Cause then you would have known that. I promise you. I won't do anything that goes against the purposes of your school Listen up here. Up. <laughs> and then Safari fucks up, well, we're following the bear time one rule. But hmm. Who did it? Come one of on. you. You already know the answer. The one who killed her. It's me. No. It's no. Not you. No one had a reply to that. One of us killed Sayaka? Pretty stupid. Well, what? Nuts. Hmm. What's the matter? You guys are all looking like you're about to see a dog get shot with a gun. <laughs> Let's remember what I told you when this all began. One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you can graduate. Someone just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope. Sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. <laughs> bona fide. Whatever. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. We all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um, Are you serious? What, no. What is this? Someone. Someone killed someone. <laughs> It is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuff hmm. in it there. But one of us really did kill her. That person gets to graduate from school, right? Huh? huh? Exactly. On. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you gotta leave. <laughs> well, you gotta get away with it. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> naive. You're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey, You're super naive. Now. I'm devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing, I just feel. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold, remember? You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. If you are blackened that committed the if you are the blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by any other students. That is what you're talking about, is it not? In other words, Mingo, it's not like you just have to kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which actually means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. Yeah! So, a certain amount of time after, yep, after her murder has taken place, <laughs> trial. trial will begin. Class, trial? Mm. Yep, it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the black and who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. I, I guess like that, spotless students. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, if the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. Such a good voice However, if you I choose would. poorly, then the I'm one who got it. away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, um, what exactly is this punishment you're keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, quite simply. What? Execution! <laughs> Execution? What? What about execution you mean? Execution is execution. Execution! Clark explaining how science works. <laughs> Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! <laughs> so to make sure I understand. If we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us will get executed? Correct. <laughs> well, this one of those things you are. Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying. That's basically what the outside world calls a 
display judge system or an inquisition type thing, which means you'll be deciding who you think is the killer. But judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. I will never get enough of that hatching. That's uh -huh. so good. Okay, let me add the rules I just described in the book. Make sure to keep it in mind. I do not care. Wait, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking about? It's freaking insane, you know that? Mm hmm? What the? A class file? What the hell is that? I don't want to do anything with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murders me? What? what? Are you saying you're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I might. Oh well. Really into a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want. I'm not gonna be a part of this. I don't, don't be so selfish. Stop it! Everyone being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. The evil standing. The evil standing here before me. I'm trembling in fear. But I won't give in and need to suck evil. It's my style to stick it, out, stick it out and resist till the very end. If you want to really get out of here, you're gonna have to go through me first. And as he said that, he came charging at us. Although it was more of a waddle. But then. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Huh? huh? Violence against headmaster Oh no. Is not allowed. You uh -oh. the school dead. Invoke the mighty summon spell. Maybe. Help to me, godly spear, Gunyer. No. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? It's nuts. It's you back to back like that? We haven't even done the first trial yet. Wow. <laughs> Wow, okay. This wasn't why. This game doesn't me? play around. What the? Dang, okay. <laughs> Dang and Rampa? No way! That's that's a really interesting game design choice. Uh, this can't be real. No, but this. No way! Now I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really want to keep the caution popping up for no good reason, you know? But I guess you all need to be taught a lesson after all. Ah, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. She's dead. Oh my god. No, the TikTok girl. Ugh. It's sad that she's dead. Yeah. It's sad that TikTok's dead. Well, in simple terms, that was <laughs> the death of a human being. Really not that all shocking. He just died. That's all. Just one died. What's more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race? It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. This isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. Why do you have to kill her? Didn't say you put her in a prison or something? I just reminded. I knew. No, we don't want him to kill the entire time. Kill the entire time? At least, <laughs> you can't kill time. Why are you just being metaphorical? Why are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on. <laughs> what are you taking me for? I'm not a kuma. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give to you. Give you and help. Give you to help in your search for the black. <clears throat> Good God. The Monokuma file. Oh, that's all the information I've gathered about the death in question I call it. Monokuma. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts on this kind of thing. But you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and caused death. What's that? How do I find the cause of death, you ask? Because there's surveillance cameras that picked up the whole thing. You can, I got to see it all go down. Wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka? Of course I do. Didn't. 
and then also we pass a fair and accurate judgment on the drive now. Correct. So, the point. Yes. The judge has the judge has to be able to make the decision. That's somehow comforting. Well. Now please put your full effort behind the investigation. After all, you don't have a choice. You give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Hey, you'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's body, um, dead body growing colder right in front of us. After who knows how long, no one said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there's more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us actually murdered someone. And the fact that we didn't figure it that and the fact that if we don't find out who it is, we'd all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was, a, it was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, given such a perversely sharp situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gone through. Hey. Now's no time to wall in your depression. The worst thing we could do right now is to lose all faith in each other. Now leads to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. Huh? In other words, cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who do you decide? Who do you decide to trust or not trust? Of course, it's up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying so like that is just. How many times have I told you, anyone who can't adapt will die? That's just the only thing- Oh, was that a foreshadow? <laughs> Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable to, or unwilling to adapt. When it happens, you only have yourself to go. Hmm, awful thing to say. Especially after what's just happened. A right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all gonna die here. He's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> Why in hell am I letting someone kill me? Alright, damn it. Let's do this. We just had to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sediment. The way they were using it. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they were right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we don't have choice. That's what it takes us far, and that's what we have to do. And help it out. It was something I need needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. Terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death, which is why I don't have a choice. I have to do this. I'll observe the body. I don't think anyone has anything to say. I gently place my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touch her wrist to check for bulls, like you do in the movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I don't know why you even bother checking. After those injuries and losing that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did spice something like that. Huh? Hold on. Hold on, just wait a second. She's... Dead? What that means? This means everything that- Oh my god. <laughs> yes, you dumbass. Someone save me. Let me out of here. Somebody help me. What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Just a second. Oh. Before we begin the investigation, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Hey. Before we start searching for that, but killer, we need to decide what we should- What to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. He's thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area. After that, after all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, you're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'm just gonna figure out who killed that chick. Mm. Okay, then we'll let Mondo look after the scene. Well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? what? Why the hell not? Stop Isn't it obvious? If you're the culprit, it's the first thing you would do. By volunteering for a guard duty, you're in position to destroy all the evidence you want. 
<laughs> Great. So then. Fine then. I'll stay on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Battle cats. <laughs> huh. won't. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we'll ping our faith in the rest of you. Still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Not Just a second. Why? <laughs> no. What else is discuss? We're going to find out who the killer is. Because if we don't, we're all gonna have to die. How can I Just leave? No. No, you need to talk to other people. Oh, I need to talk to everyone, don't I? Is this seriously the part where I have to talk to everyone? I feel me. Consciousness has crashed. We starting now. Please wait a moment. Check the body again. Maybe I don't know. No. Huh? Let's talk to the people who mentioned this. Don't really happening? <laughs> that piece of shit, man. What the heck? I hate this. But still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all dead. I need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Well, what else is there? Just a second. I think I really need to talk to everyone. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> but you finally noticed. Notice what? I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very huh? unusual. Huh? What are you talking about? Go ahead. Take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sai died? She died in Makoto's going. Uh, what? She's right. Eh? Oh no, I heard the setter statement. Then, could it be? I want everyone to gaze for me. Oh no. Oh, uh -oh. Like, we got it all wrong. There was one night I tried to remove her. I did it because she was afraid. Do you expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. That okay, is the truth. Don't, complete 180. I'm just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion if you're having to In other words, you think I did so it? Then. Done talking. We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. Let me get to the bottom of this to figure out who killed Sayaka. We'll have we'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to form a final decision. So... If we get this wrong, well, do I have to really say anymore? I rather you didn't know. I'm going to pray for good luck. With that, you have to hurry out of the gym. I'll be going too. Just like that, Kiko was Kyoko, and just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized Yo. it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? That's okay. Better head to the scene than the current. Yeah, that's right. Hey, damn it! We're gonna stay for now. Okay, whatever is of a bitch did this right here, right now. Did this here, right now, and they're thinking of destroying the evidence. They better not let me find out. I'll skip the trial in case they can't even kill myself. I'm serious. What do you mean deadly war team in here? Can't even suck her right now. So, um... But, I mean, we're not gonna be de detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do anyway. something like that? We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. He is fun. But you! I'm telling you, it wasn't really? me. No, come any closer. You gonna kill me next? So, yeah. Um... <laughs> I guess I don't want her to give a shot. I'm not sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um... It's true. We may as well at least check on what ha what did they even say then? Check just to check. That's true, we may as well at least check what is that sentence? Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help them this year. Wait, why not? Fear of blood. Fear of blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I block out. Really? <laughs> Looks down at Jinko. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, I'm gonna get going. Wait, don't go, you have to hear me out. That's pointless, everyone already left. Has their party looks at me, has been still filled with suspicion? Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How to turn it like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. What do they have to say, suspect me? Suspect me. I have to do something. Oh, all right, everyone will. Yeah. Execution is... Execution. Uh, electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Can't let that happen. Can't let things turn out my way the way Monokuma wants. 
I want to have to find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? I guess I should look around, the, look through the monocle of Aoyama. Yeah. The victim was Sayaka, I don't know. The time when that was estimated. Pen 15! I love this song. The body was discovered in the closet room, in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that it took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to the right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to figure out what happened. Somehow, I have to find the truth, so we can all survive. And just stay out. I have to find out how she was killed. <laughs> Alright, that's right. She's dead. <laughs> TikTok. Uh, what is it? Investigation time? Yes. Are you no. gonna help investigate you here? Um... But I can't leave you go here. I feel sorry for her. I, I have to stay with her. Oh no, I read the stutter statement. I <laughs> got him. Not even one minute in. Right, what about you here? This is a different day in the recording for YouTube video. That is not the archive. Yeah, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. <laughs> Thank you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me. I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Can I leave? I'm just beat. Remember, you can do the thing to show all the investigatable stuff. That's B again. I'm not gonna get used to that. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We will make any progress on investigating there. <laughs> the sound Pogger. of poggers. So I head to my room, where Saika's corpse still remains. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. This might reveal something new. <laughs> maybe, maybe. There's so much stuff. Most of the tea slurs. There are gouges in the bed, like someone attacked it. The heck happened here? I have to be. Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Tiaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? No. Sword. This is the replica sword I brought back for self defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of the sheath. I haven't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade in the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. Remember the coating sticks you even if you just touch it a little bit. Replica sword has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Nice. I don't think I need to examine the key. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so it must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Saika would have the would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No. No, that's not possible. This is so weird hearing me echo again. Then just you know fix it. Just I'm just gonna mute parsec. I would not like to talk about. The same goes for you, Saka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. <laughs> that fixed that have... go. Yes. Even okay. if, if, yeah, even if I'm sure to, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she should ha she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Saka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. She, she couldn't have dropped it. So, how did the killer? Oh, it was important. Switching rooms yes. and added to the crew both in the handbook. Oh, what else is there? The sheets. I'll check out the sheets after I talk to Mondo. 
You know, I realized something when I was on guard duty. It's boring. Oh, the killer had already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. It's a trash room here in the dorm, right? You could have tossed some stuff in here. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard. <laughs> anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find the son of a bee that did this, I'm gonna pound his face and I have to be clean. But what if it, what if it was a girl that did it? I read the setter statement. Yo. That'll all get sorted out of hand. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> out of hand. That'll all get sorted out of hand. This is the replica sword that. I, oh my god. It's not even the sword. It's the sheath. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just a sheath. But, huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. It must have been made with something sharp. But. How the sheath gets scratched up in the first place. Even if someone used a sword during the struggle, it just makes sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you have to do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath, a heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of a fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Sheath. Uh, look, a sword sheath has to be the truth bullets. What about you? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty hey. too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you or whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest the whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. <laughs> Tables. No, not hey. I'm gonna hit the table. Can I even click the table? No. I don't think so. Oh, uh, what else is there? It's the scratch buttons, I guess. There's some scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some sort of fight in my room. I was right. I was right in the other room. If only I heard something. That would not have been possible. Huh? Huh. Don't you remember? All the rooms have been completely soundproof. So something could happen in a room right next to you and there's no way you would know. Perhaps this was another one of Monokuma's strategies, creating, a, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth bullets. Um, I don't think I need to look at this. Not well, just in case. You can use your right stick to rotate. Remember that. Mm -hmm. The toolkit is still inside my drawer. I don't, I don't see any evidence that it's being used at all. Which makes sense. I mean, it's mine, and I hadn't had any reason to open it. I can't imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. Bye. I mean, exactly what? in this move, <laughs> which would be built with furniture, right? Okay, never mind. I read that completely wrong, but whatever. So you haven't used yours either, then? What? Not just me. What? No one's busted at theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. Way. None of the guys have opened up their toolkits yet. Because, like, why the hell would we? Toolkit has been added to the truth bullets. And I think that is it. I don't need to check the walls or anything. Uh, I will. That's the same line. Okay. Fight, fight, fight! Oh, no! No, I don't want to do it again. Be careful not to do another input. Well. Oh my really? god! I just said I wouldn't do another input. <laughs> but you did, because you're bad. Well, I guess what's up is the bathroom. To look around here first. I'm gonna talk to Kyoko. Other spots later. For what? For Kyoko in the back. Move your camera. Oh. Hey Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But. What are you doing? What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? No. No, I'm not really. Searching. I'm searching. They're talking. She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch Did of my room. Did you lose a contact or Did something? Did you lose a contact or something? <sighs> I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood straight up Listen. and said, Are you a clean freak? No. Huh? No, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspect there's something very unusual about your room. 
Thank God I remember where Y is. I was about to hit X. <laughs> Unusual. What do you so... mean? I search your folder from one corner to another. And then find one, yep, one single strand of hair. I was going to say, is it the lint roller? Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you. Even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mentioned it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. Yep, it looked like the lint roller in my room has been had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used could someone have used it too? I see. Very interesting. The room didn't have a single hair in it. Someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well That's a question, isn't it? That's the question. Makoto's room clean cleanliness has been added to the truth bullet. Cleanliness. Cleanliness, whatever. The bathroom. And now the other side of the door. Yep. Oh, that was weird. Inverted. I didn't expect them to invert it. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped inside the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her, Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why does Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Man, they even keep the paper style in here too. Okay. I told myself I suddenly- I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now not the time to think it like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp, sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Or whatever they used to kill her. Whatever they- yeah, whatever they used to kill her. Where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saiko's right wrist was broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But... There's something sort of glittery on there, on her wrist too. Right there is where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittering. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. And that time I read it fully. Sabu in here stomach is what killed her. You don't have to. For what you broke her wrist. Okay, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she had already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her into the bathroom, which with where they definitely inflicted the deadly wound. I can't read. And there's this thing behind her that I saw during the fusion. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw. 11037 Written in blood were the numbers 110 that's in Oh it's Leon. Is that a character? Yep. Yeah, it's the baseball guy. Yeah. In case so. Oh oh I get it now. I get it. Okay. You have to have basic reading ability. <laughs> yeah, you have to be Australian. Okay, cool. Well that's probably the final piece of evidence. That's gonna be used in the trial. I kind of wanted you to me. not get it, so it'd be cool. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. As if it's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. You often talk like an aspiring poet, but the numbers she wrote. What did they mean? One one zero three seven. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The they keep talking it. like they don't know <laughs> what it is. And it, um... Like, it's so obvious. I she was sitting in the way on her. It means she would have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? It would be flipped. Upside down. Think about it. You're not going to tell me? You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious that you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. This is like Kyoko knows what Sayako's dying message means, but honestly, I have no ideas. 
Oh, oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who's bet who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Oh wow. That's another thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? Yeah. Get stuck. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one. But the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. The bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? Right. You didn't notice it? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. What about it? I want to make sure I actually hit the doorknob. The heck? The doorknob is practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Yep, and the boys get two hits. Whatever it was, it was obvious. It's obvious that this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do so... that? I guess maybe they're trying to get the door unlocked and end up breaking the whole thing. And ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom does or door doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? We stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then, apparently, struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question just at a me. Second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night, when we switched rooms. So what you're trying- so what you're saying is, only you and Sayaka knew mm -hmm. about it. Huh, interesting. She had the slightest kind of, of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all of this. I see. And that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Yeah. Well, see you later. Oh as yeah, you get lost. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good ones a good ones over. Maybe I should look somewhere else. Start looking where the murder weapon came from, and also I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see see for myself what was in that video. And on top of all of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe the garbage room. Them. If they ever, if they'll ever talk to me, that is. Alright, so I guess that's my cue to head out. Actually, let me get the. Right, that's weird. Okay. Oh, they're switch. Huh? <laughs> this is how yeah. I, right. But the, but the nameplate has my name on it. I was like, oh, what? That's weird. They're switch. Okay. Well, let me go in, or will it just give me the same message? You just examine the door. Oops, what do I do? No, that's how you do. You can't go oh, in. Okay. I guess I'll just start talking to you. <laughs> Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. Sure, it doesn't. The Monokuma files did sack was killing your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Will that give me a different thing now? Or no? No. Yeah. I want to go in. Alright, what about you for me? Mm -hmm. The poor man. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Very strange. Mr. Maigi. Naigi. What was Miss Maizano doing in your room? Let me just say this. No, Absolutely will not allow you to dispose of, of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Is there a trash room? Yes. Oh no, you should go. TikTok. Alright, what about you? I can never pronounce your name. Very strange. So, what was Sayaka in your- Why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you got it all wrong. Sayaka and I- Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. Oh, why? Wow. suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible, responsible for her death. What do you say? Hmm. Huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? I don't read Sutter statements. The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? Then, it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that 
that that it's a possibility. That's if it was really true, 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 true. If that's really true, then I um. So it's a knife, I think. So I have to go to the kitchen. I think that's over here. Yes. I'm never gonna get used to that straight. Anyone in here? Yes. Yes, you know. You know, are you investigating the dining hall? Mm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all at first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kinda hanging around here. To tell, you, to tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Can I go in the back? What can I do? The can door. I? Yes. <laughs> the door. We've never been back here. Oh. Oh, one of the knives I'm missing. Yep. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here. Big and small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or? Better see if anyone here knows more about it. Nice, kitchen knife set has been added. Okay, I remembered, I was gonna turn it completely around, but then I remembered to press B. Now if I talk to Hina, will she give me a different dialogue or the same thing? Oh, cool. Different. Okay, so, did you notice that one of the kitchen knives are missing from the dining hall? Yeah, home? totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the That's beginning? Right. Nope. Last time I remember, they were all lined up in a neat, nice row. So when you did notice later on... So when you did... Oh my god. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well... I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last time. And all the kitchen... And all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives were gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall where someone, when someone came and took him. And he should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone that I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. In alibi. Yep. Account. Um... Here. Or hey, by the way. Did you really kill Sayaka? What? No. Or not. I would never. Yeah, do you really think I murdered her? I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So I mean, you're supposed to be friends, right? But if you... But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together... I also have no idea. Alright, well I guess that's it from you. Press B. He can't even turn around to leave. Oh, alright, so where's this trash room? The trash. Um, I guess I'll go around. You can run. You know what, claw grip? Oh, is this it? Claw grip's actually pretty comfortable. <laughs> no, it isn't. It is. Oh, they run back. That's cool. Can they do? There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle. <laughs> the door won't budge. It must be locked. Nice. Money. There's a certain gate here. No way to get past. Monokuma, it's you. Years. It's the end of the line. There he is. The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How'd you get the gate open? Or how do you get no, no, this gate open? No, no, no. No one should be on this point. Only one. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty. No, no, you can't go any further. <laughs> Who's not cleaning no, duty? No, you can't go any further. <laughs> this is stupid. It, 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 yeah, it'd be faster to just go around, go around and ask no, others. No, no, you can't go any further. Yeah, <laughs> Shut up. Not reading the really repeated text. Cleaning duty has been added to the truth bullets. Press B. I wonder who talked about the garbage room. It was obviously Leon. No. What's up, Hitman? My camera's going all over the place. 
Oh, I've been looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? Cleaning duty? That'd be me! As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had it. I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front with it in front of the trash room? Of course. It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me a key for the trash room gate. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Wait, hold on. Hold up. You need to keep it right in the trash room? And only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going going What's what's the point of going to all that trouble? That was weird. <laughs> That's wrong. Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all so we can so we can oh my god, I can't read. So we can all throw things out whenever we want. That does seem more so convenient. In other words. Actually. Anyone who kills a host, I'm not reading the rules. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying the evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear. Things would become boring. Boring? Boring. Hey, listen. Anyway, more important hey, than that. Bastard. <laughs> hey, Patty. Why do you want clean the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, um... I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the, what's the big deal? You. <laughs> Liar. I know why you did Is it. Is it like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around in it. There's no way to think about this about? in a common sense. Oh, my love is for Chidi. You know what I mean. <laughs> but you are Chidi. But there's all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of Chidi and then turn into. I would never get tired of Chidi. After spending a significant time comparing Chidi to 3D, I voluntarily chose Chidi. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on Chidi. Oh, in PPC figures. Are you totally not embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has clean duty, Sakura, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to, uh, to disposing of it. Hey! What? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, there's a harm issue. That's not how it's supposed to. I don't read such statements. <laughs> yes, you do. On another topic. <laughs> Only that first time. And the other <laughs> you time. did it a bunch I've of only, times. I've only read it like from what I recall three times. I think three or five. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll count them. Anyway, on another topic, Hikumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. What? So now you're suddenly so now you suddenly want to join the party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was hoping to get into the trash and look around. You yes. Okay. <laughs> so easy. So, if we and I headed toward the trash room. Oh, I love that. Hmm. You'd like me to open hmm. the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They say he killed his wife. He learned he learned how to get by on the inside, but he never saw grooming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever. Please just hurry up. Okie dokie. Leave it to me. If we pulled out a key, pulled a key out of his pocket, and then used it to flip the switch next to the gate, and then it opened. Mr. Naegi. However, Mr. Naegi. Truly, you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend! You planned this all along. No. <laughs> You're right there. I wanted to see. I wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you. You want to see if you left anything behind. I'm gonna be so sad if Kimi dies. Honestly. Wait. Maybe a parallel world. Whatever. Let's just hurry up and keep looking. Um. So I can talk to him. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff here. I can. I don't think I'll just look out all of it. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it's you. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball. This bigger. Hold your hand. Is this perhaps? <laughs> is that? I don't read Sutter statements. Do you know what this uh -huh. is? 
safe and collect all seven. I'm dragging a little up here and trying to take the place. No, no, kidding aside, it's that kind of thing you might see on any big, big city street corner. Gaze into it and it'll show you the glimpse of the future. Show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, you get what you're trying to say. But who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. So they should all still be in the gym. Better go find out for sure. Shattered crystal ball has been added. What about the button? But it's open. It's not on. A green button and a yellow button. There's no doubt they'd, they'd relate to the big mechanism. Unless it is on. This is the incinerator. It's it's way in the back part of the trash room. Okay. I have to process that sentence. It's a good 30 feet from here. Just okay. What? <laughs> ah, They're lazy. Right now. Mm -hmm. You see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator. Yes, indeed. Pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn off. Sooner or later, you'll be on clean duty. So you'll just make sure. So you'll. So make sure you learn this before you before you leave. Okay. Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was a working fairy. Fumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? The fairy? No. no. You said that last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Ah, yes. About that, there could be no mistake. If I got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on them. I Yawn, yawn, yawn. Since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, it would be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator, incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Incinerator has been added. And it's the cuff. On the shirt. With blood on it, which probably Sayaka's. But you know. Whatever. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning glow? <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, this is. It looks like a piece of cloth. In the shape. It's a part of a sleeve from a button, I'm sure. And as I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cup, which means this is all this is all that's left of some kind of evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This is enough by itself to figure out who was it, who the killer is. Burn shirt piece have been added to the truth bullets. Alright, I think that's it from here. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and there's glass shards. And the burnt clothes weren't. Mm. What does it mean, Mr. Naegi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone sure already knows it. you did. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living out of the out one of his comic fantasies. Comic book fantasies. You know what else he's living out? Not having the ability to have basic kindergarten reading compatibility. That is not the word I meant to say. <laughs> yep. Now go to the gym. And where I have to, I have to get used to moving around like this because I, I did not expect move, move, um, movement in this game. I you can change your sensitivity. Yeah, but okay, you don't want pointer. to. Not go for low sensitivity. Pointer for higher sensitivity. <laughs> but you did it. Even me. though Leon's name is on the thing. You have a second, Makoto. I've uncovered something most unusual. The dorm cabin with room has a nameplate on it. It shows whose room it is, right? Oh yeah, they've been switched. Well, it just so happens. Wait, no, no, no. You might be the- Aww, you might be the killer yourself. Can't tell you anything. Forget everything I said. Forget. Forget. Forget the beam. <laughs> Rico Sorry. beam. No Even I do so. Even I do jokes sometimes. Oh, where am I going to gym? I was like, am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going all the way down here. Will I ever get access to this area? Yes. Maybe later. Maybe. I'm sure we get more access as the game progresses. Wow, it's like you understand game design. 
Or I don't. <laughs> there you go. Actually, let's talk to... Oh, that's smart. So either way, you have to come down to the gym. Talk to Chihiro about the numbers, huh? and then talk to Hiro about the ball, I think. I think that's what they want yes. to do. She wrote out the numbers. I didn't even read that. Go back. Oh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11307. Do you have any idea what these numbers mean? No, she, like, she didn't. Could they be a code or something? Mm. Um, sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or, could she maybe know more than she's letting out? No, could be. TikTok is still dead. Hey, yeah. girl. Hey, something. <laughs> no, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, um... I don't read. Murmur dialogue. Sounds. Sure. Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Ah, uh, that's my crystal ball. But, it's all smashed. What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was plus. He said it wasn't breakable. So, how did it break? Was it actually made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally do me? He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Yes. Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belongs to you? Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably, found, probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by. Someone must have come by and snatched it. Snatched it. You left it by the laundry room. That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered crystal ball has been added. Has it already? Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Or maybe said updated. Oh, sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Two dollars. <sighs> Everything I saved up for fortune telling for the past two years. Oh boy, it came out to be like a million. <laughs> a million? Um... Pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just. Too stupid. I feel I can't even feel bad for him. I got like a Jim Kogan. Yep, and it's the same guy like also. He's dead. Aww. Alright, TikToker, get mad. I don't think there's anything in here from what I recall. Um So what? else is there? I should probably talk to people now. So Go to your me. room and like investigate the door, I think. Because I don't think you actually got the truth bullet for nameplates switched yet. Oh, is this how we get it? Huh? This, yes. this is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplate's on my- oh, okay, I was looking at the wrong room to get it. The nameplate's on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplates have been added. Um... Can I go oh yeah, go back in. Uh, pin your camera to the left, or see the left. See the left to the right, I guess. The sticky note thing, the paper, the blue thing on the desk. The lint, the lint. Oh, no, no, no not the lint roller. I would. Sure. Or whatever, no, what is it? There. No pad. Oh, notepad. Notepad. It's a notepad. <laughs> yes, the school must have given one to each of us. Oh. Where's Kyoko then? Oh, go in the bathroom again, probably. But what is it that inspect? Just a knife. Some of her sharp object. I bet I'm good at talking. Something glittery. Oh, it's 
a great button. It's a great trigger. I'll remember to press that during dialogue. Especially during cutscenes. Okay. I already talked to Mondo. Have I talked to Sakura yet? Yes. You talked to her like twice. And then you went, no. Um, so what else is there? You need to find Kyoko, because she gives you another thing. But I don't know where she is. Just check the room. <laughs> no. It's the Kyoko's room. I don't think there's anything here that'll help me. Oh. Okay, wait, can I warp to people, right? Oops. How do I do that? Nope, not that. The map, which is X. Not that. That map. That, no, go back. Go back to your tablet. This one? Map, yes. Big map. Oh. Wait, who's in here? Okay, that's my room. Oh, I can change using shoulder buttons. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Celeste, do nothing. Toko, do nothing. Yeah, there's some. Is that it? Oops, what did I do? You warped. Wait, what was it? Oh, okay. Um, I didn't see her. Or unless I completely missed her. You know, oh, you know what? She... I should probably check the DVD. Oh, yeah. Check Can her name. Yeah. Or it would have your name. As I remember. Okay, yeah, that's what they want me to do. And then she'll probably come to you. I inspected that and I was like, can I do something with this? Can I watch it now? But no, this is probably the time to you now. There can only be one thing in the trash can. You have the DVD with Cars 2 on it. I <laughs> whatever was in that video. <laughs> Cars on the DS. I mean... Yeah, yeah, that game sure. sucks. That game's really fun. <laughs> it might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I really need to borrow this DVD. Oh, do I have it, or will it just give me the same dialogue? Okay. Now the AV room. Yeah, sure. I'll leave. Is the AV room in the school? In the yeah. But right now I'm in the hotel. Drinking. Okay, let's go. Actually, no, it's right here. The radio. What's up with the color lighting? What's up with the LEDs? We're not a gamer. Because why not? Alright, I should be able to use this one to see what's on the DVD. The DVD I said I got through in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play, and the screen, the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then. The entirety of Cars 2 started playing. No. And <laughs> it slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, alongside the, with the friend she had been so important to her. It was the most broken sentence I've ever read, but I've read worse. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice I've come to despise so much began to flood out of the speakers. Sayako Maizono, the ultimate, the ultimate pop sensation, sensation lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, for these the girls the glowing spotlight, spotlight only made... Oh my god, stop movie talking movie when he's talking. Movie. Well, I needed, um, Parsec. Actually, then can you I said try? there's no echo, and you could hear it. No, I said that after I muted it. Here. I'm about, okay. Suddenly the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something that I hardly could believe. What? Oh boy. Like I had disappeared in front of the stage, which is now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that were the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. Successful team suddenly fell apart. 
Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to deal with the echo. The voice act, this voice act is just not the way. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Oh my gosh, he's so good. Look for the next answer look for the answer in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Which was oh, referenced okay. earlier by if you need it. That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say that he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Adobe After Effects. Alright, oh. oh, she says that in the trial. I'm getting okay. tired of waiting. Oh. Say we just get started. The thing I was talking about with the notepad, that's later. It's time for the long-awaited class. Mass trial. trial! Yeah! Allow me to appoint a <laughs> Why are we cheering? For the Please go <laughs> this the is the fun part. On the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! You soon. The red door on the first floor. And that's where I should go. No, that's where I have to go. Yeah, otherwise you're probably dead. <laughs> yep, you're just like TikTok. What's this? Yes. Oh, there's a coin. You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you were afraid you'd be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. Then we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. <laughs> really? <laughs> so they really are convinced I did it, but I didn't do it. Me and Sayako both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? Leon! <laughs> yup. I bet it was us. We did it. <laughs> no! The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? Oh, here's the music. Yeah. <laughs> is everyone, is everyone here? here? Okay then. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, where all oh, you your fate things? will be decided. That's a good line. I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well, then. Let us begin. Yes, indeed. Good idea. Hey. Are you scared? No, scared isn't quite right. Nakoda. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to the grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raise my voice to try to give myself courage, I turn around, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. That was a weird loop. Everyone else is already on the elevator. When I finally stepped on, the doors closed, and the elevator started to move. The steel box ascended with heavy clunking sounds toward the basin. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Rather than that, is it not more like the defendant, like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. Alright, let's listen to Box 15. This is not Box 15. Well, eventually. You already did! That was the investigation theme. Oh, that was it? Yes. Oh, I thought it was like during the trial. Okay, whatever. No, that's discussion What's the... music. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask what it was called then. What do you think? Doesn't it feel like just a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood, Hollywood movie set, right? Hollywood. <laughs> Not even close. Well now. Okay, okay. 
Who will find your assigned seat and sit down? <laughs> Bus driver. <laughs> sit down! <laughs> hurry up now, hurry up. We did what he said and found our seats. They got the, yep, they got the portraits too. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Which also meant it'd be easier for anyone to transfer their attention and unease it and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Social distancing idiots. And so the current <laughs> This is twenty ten. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Nah. Save. But it will. Oh, uh, what do Skills. I do? Skills. <laughs> but I don't have anything. Yes, you do. Oh, I do. You got two from talking to people. Oh, is this the stuff? Yeah, okay. Yeah. These are skills. I don't have SP though. Yes, you do. You have 10. Oh. Okay, and I can just pick stuff. Well, I want to read it yeah. too. Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during a bullet time battle. Don't know what that means. Increases your yet. two rate of fire. Okay. That's how you have. Finish. And the ebook is just for the information then. Yeah. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can He's figure so out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And the one so that deceived everyone else will graduate. will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course. Okay, then. Everyone, close your eyes. <laughs> really? Did, raise your hand. <laughs> Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial. Go on, Leon. Here, raise you your hand. <laughs> What's up with What's the portraits? What's going on with those pictures? I feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death. Oh, no. I see the joke coming. Friendship. Yep. <laughs> okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our it's little no, room no, here can technically back. fit up to say it's from Monokuma, but he's got his own seat. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. That's not going to be important later on, is it? What? That's 16 seat. Whatever. Let's play the game. The case summary. Now, it's almost like 16 is even. Begin. Yep. It's about to begin the debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found? Anything I noticed? Okay, that was weird. I thought it would keep zooming in, but it just stopped. So that kind of threw me off. I have to be ready to speak up about. <laughs> zooms in into the floor. <laughs> yes. No clip. Because this is just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. This is Team Mod. The first non-stop battle, non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to get more? Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. I'm just gonna read this since it's tutorial stuff so I can drink my orange juice. <laughs> you engage in number non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters speak without pause. It's you. Unless you pause. What this means you'll have to stay, you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute. Anything revel any revelant truth bullets you found during your investigation will be loaded. Use the left stick to aim and then fire with the Y button. Yeah, thanks. My PlayStation controller. Close attention to each character's statements, use the truth bullets to pass the right one. With that, if you run out of time, you automatically fail. Oh no. You press the start button during the argument, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck. Have fun. Oh wow, he just throws right into it. <laughs> yeah. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. I can do yeah, this. You know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. 
in the bathroom. Yeah. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to see. Yeah, okay, so it's like a tutorial of the day. <laughs> That's the thing! That's the line. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room went. That's a struggle. Which is what the truth was in. I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between, Easy, between me and Sayaka. <laughs> no. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, no, no, so apologize. what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. We need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. <laughs> oh wow, they just put it right obvious. It's an obvious. <laughs> hey Apple. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a hey. doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had. It wasn't no, random. Oh. And it wasn't on him. No. I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Talk. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Oh, he's cracking. That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Evidence is switching names, please. I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? No. Yes. She's right. There's gotta be some breakdown. Charlie, you stop peeing me. Great, I don't even have access to my mouth. There's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not killing. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? <laughs> no. Sure. Holy on RB. Is that right bumper? Is that what it stands for, right? No, the button. button. Oh, the long right. one that like is dynamic, I guess. Like uh, the back one, that's a trigger. Yeah, and the top is bumper. Yes. Or whatever, or button. Okay. Okay. So I can just focus. Yes. Yep, the uh, mm -hmm. alibi. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Nowhere. Mm -hmm. must have taken it from the kitchen, right? We did it in secret. Nobody was in the Oh my god, I almost hit the wrong button. No, that's wrong. Wait. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I'm gonna go get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there but when i finished my key i went back it back into the washed my glass i can't read again 
What is an aftergone? So you're saying that the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the kitchen hall? Dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you Yeah, Oops. that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? No. No. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hino was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? There's Speaking no point. Which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So no. I ask, and so I shall answer. Each and now he teaches us that one of the cases are going to be but only the one who does Probably. the killing will get to graduate. There's no way they tell us this and they don't include it. So in it. other words, two people can work together. But one and that's what no you think. From it. Oh, that's and there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rules? Well, now they do. Uh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oops, did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... <laughs> me. Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Right. But then, could oh, that line one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. Someone did come. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Oh. Oh. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You and the voice stayed over? Phenomenal. Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed a to dorm. stay anywhere but the Not dorm. your dorm. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? <laughs> unwholesome. It's, Read it. It's unwholesome! But I'm a girl. Tyler. You are? Tyler. Oh my gosh, do, 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 do. I'm so sorry. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Me. Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because they're not here anymore. TikTok. Yuko did not take the knife. Sayaka. Huh? She was the one who came to the dining hall. Huh? And then later, she wound up dead. No, Sayaka. Okay, so the person who took the knife was Sayaka. Manakuma. I got it. Then. Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, but why? she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most too, likely, and the person who took the knife was the victim herself. But why? I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? See? Uh -oh. He did do it after all. No, you're wrong. 
So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? <laughs> but he made himself a suspect again. You possess a most terrifying talent. Luck. Damn, I told you something. They're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by oh, all never rights mind should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman's gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Sure. Okay. Phrase. The letters flying around the letters already known. Complete the place by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Left shift aim, Y button to shoot. Shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage. If your case reaches zero, or you can die. Well then, good luck. Something that should have been at the scene but wasn't. That must be a crucial point. If we can just figure out what that something is. Huh? You need R. Yes. There we go. Sometimes okay, you have easy. to shoot them multiple yeah, times. Okay, that makes sense. That's, That's right. cool, I like that. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? This is good. Yes, and if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very true, very true! Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever <laughs> You been know there. the answer to that. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one of the Oh, same. okay, switch rooms. Never mind. Then, Makoto isn't the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? Yes. yes. No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. The doorknob. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable yep, about the, the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? The killer struggled getting into the bathroom. And the evidence that proves it is the object the killer broke. Oh, fast navigation, okay. Nob, Door. nob. Why? I okay. have to learn how to use Y. It's the top one. The yeah, I'd have to get used to going up the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? This one. The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is like another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing He's bewildering cracking. about it. You still don't <laughs> not see yet. It. At least, okay, not then. really. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Defensive. Hopefully, that will help you understand. So, no, not Sayaka. 
Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is it the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates for sure. Just teach me it all now. From here on out, a number, the number of weak spots will start to go up. But no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one liar contradiction in the debate. What I'm trying to say is, not all weak spots are necessarily false. Use a truth build on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to repeat what they said, but you also lower their trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. That's important, because when it reaches zero, you die. You have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun. <laughs> Don't die. Yep. Alright, the bathroom door. Oh, they're gonna talk about how it's supposed to be locked. No. The incident took place in the Kodo's room. Or they will, but. Sarika was first attacked in the main room. And that's she wrong. Right what happens when they just run it down? Then the killer it just, just repeat? Yeah, it just loops. When they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. And finally, the culprit had Sayaka... I'm just gonna go through all of them first. Stop yeah, that's, that's usually the plan. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? Admit it! We already know the answer. Okay, so that's it. It's not because the door was locked. No, there's a different reason entirely. The incident took place in the Kodo's room. Sarika was first attacked in the main room. Oh my gosh, I was fired at that. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. I think it's because they lost because it. Sayaka had locked it. Let's try it. No, it's wrong. Yep, it wasn't locked. Right. That's so good. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. Because it was stuck. After okay, all, I got it right. The girls' rooms are yep. the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes. Now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep. True as true can be. Wow, they're really going to switch know, in with mid debate. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door. <laughs> that's not lucky at all. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, Using the toolkit. but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Because of the switch nameplates. Everyone should have known you can't no, lock because of the missing the because of the uh, wrong door. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. The switch nameplates. You didn't know was it took place in my room. I got it! killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable. And yet, he's absolutely right. Well, to be more specific. Come on, just don't get in itself there, please. Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Which is what led to the misunderstanding the good, about the bathroom. The game is good, but it focuses so much on dialogue. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Well, they can't just tell you the answer. Then there would have been a lock on the door. But at and least they, they execute well. Through. So they had no idea how unnecessary the their first actions trials are were. a little slow-paced, so you get it. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. Because it's a tutorial but... trial. Or at least this one is. Essentially, the killer must yes. have been considerably confused, but it's executed no really well. How they actually got the door <laughs> executed. Open. Regardless, it was a pointless uh -huh, act. Funny. Wasting funny. time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is definitely stupid. something I wouldn't oh, never mind. do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto. Couldn't have done it. 
That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, then who did do it? Leon. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. Okay. But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority no, rules. No, no. That's a Majority stupid rules? idea. You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Okay, yeah, I guess what I got in the mail today. Oh, oh what? as a matter of fact, Jeez. I do have <laughs> one question. <laughs> oh, I hate that line. You. But it's good. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm. And why'd you yes. grab the knife? Come on, tell how me. did the killer get inside? Or at least figure Maybe it out. Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? No. I think so. That seems way too convenient. Then... Maybe someone picked the lock? Nope, they're Negative. electronic. If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? Because she asked me to do something in particular because of how fine she was. That's the answer right there. There's no way to say I could let someone in because... Switch room. Yes. I got it! Because I wasn't sure it was, was the already place. scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Or she wasn't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the What else is left? What do we have left? Oh, the notepad. Just yep, don't that's want what to I talk was talking about. That's us too. In five minutes, come see me in my room. I'll go. Oh no. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search. And I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. And these are the words that appear. Oh man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! I'd better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. Even in composition? It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Yes, it's Sayaka, right? Either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. But, of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Then, that note. Sayaka wrote it? But, but why? Why would she write that? Why'd she grab the knife? Her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. Call it Leon. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. But can we be sure that no one even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, 
I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. They had to because. Huh? There was a knife that was in that? And there's evidence of a struggle. <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? And Very no. well then. Pay attention. Okay, here we go. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically said, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words, even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. It certainly would seem that way. The room that Makoto was staying in. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the I think note, it's the last one again. The were asked Pretty to come to. You can speed it up by doing the speed up thing. Okay. Which button was that? I think it was one of the buttons on the top shoulder or trigger. Then they would have gone to side of this room. RD is focused. Exactly. The room that you take a shot. No, it's wrong. Maybe. The nameplates on Mai and Sayaka's rooms okay, got cool. switched. They got switched? That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Then... If someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right? So okay, was then who did it? Oh, was she trying to know? What? Evil. I got it! Is he trying to frame Makoto? Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the She's only evil. Other person was... You can also infer as much from her note. She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would why only have written that? that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in. And also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you switched rooms. Why would to anyone do that? To yeah. understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. We figured it out! We know who did it! Whoever she invited over is the culprit! But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot! Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Oh yes. yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. But how the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? The reason I know Sayaka's wrist was broken with the fake sword is because when you look at the wrist, there's no doubt. Uh, what else do I have? Okay. I got what is it? Hit? All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. 
right there where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? Is, is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword, right there on her wrist! I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. All right, then it's about time to solve this mystery. What happened in my room? And what led to Sayako's death? That's what we need to make clear. Sure. Yes. And that's why kind is garbage. When the fighting broke out, they called okay, cool. grab the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword I think what navigation is all better. And that's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist! So, she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden in the way. But then the culprit took that from her too. And they killed her with it. And that's exactly what happened. Whoa, what's going on with that sin? If the person with the sword really did attack first. There's no explanation for how a certain part of the sword got damaged to the sheet. The broke out. The culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first Oh, nope, nope. The sword based sneak attack. And that's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had. Oh, I missed it. Yes. Speed it up. Hit B, I think. Oh, nice. Okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna hit the last one again, but no. No, that's wrong. Break. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Because the sword sheath had been scratched. Or Sayaka See? attacked it. There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you are going to attack with the sword, you take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy <laughs> and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how I love Mondo. Did they they shoot shoot you guys. If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they got the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. Uh, no. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took that from her too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, but how would she get struck took then? The and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used yeah. the sword to defend herself. What? She has a knife. How the hell can you not think that? Because she's because the only she one who took, took that. The she's the only one who knew. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. The part of her body that shows she never used the sword. If you wanted to use the sword, that would be your palms. I got it. 
You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, wow, you'll notice long. that a lot of the gold has already come off. Well, they're all kind of long. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword but it's good. got some of it on their hands. Yeah. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she Even for her first case, she did a phenomenal she job with this. Into the bathroom. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? Dang. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> that's me. There's no way Sayaka washed the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation. <laughs> She's afraid of water. I got it. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. Rasperphobia. In other words, it's <laughs> nighttime. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Oh, yep. I didn't know that. Actually, <laughs> you. What? Oh, my. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. Hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult <laughs> or an insult, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, oh, that, that means she attacked. The killer is the only one who used the sword. Which is Leon. Hold on. If that's right. Then the one who damaged the sheep with the So she, oh no, she attacked Leon. Was she trying to, oh no. You're evil. <laughs> the one who damaged the sheep would have been the one who would have been Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? You but we already said that the attack started with. But then, how'd she die? The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. Then the one who attacked first was. Sayaka. Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. So she attacked first. Um, no, she sent a message to him. So she lured Leon into the room, tried to kill him, to commit a murder of her own. and they fought for a little bit, which is a struggle part. But we got to the bathroom, um, she knew about the door, she closed it, but Leon didn't because of the switch name. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and so attacked without food provocation, food. and finish it. Okay, I think that's what happened. Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Makoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Makoto. Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? <laughs> yup. That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. She wanted to Poor Leon, he's just stuck there in that state. To come to Makoto's room, where she was staying. <laughs> he should be, he's about to die. The murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. Well, this is going to be like a 40 minute trial to keep going at it. be lured out, while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So, all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switch rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Aww. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid, or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just okay, hold on. We, talk about, we have to talk about the trial stuff too. Because, because, because you're wrong. Hey, hey, you guys have two 
totally derail the argument. You're being super the teacher boring going to be. right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? That's oh, scary. Yeah, we gotta decide who <laughs> Go fast. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Is it really over? Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her. But what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's no, there is not nothing left. Sayaka's gone <laughs> there's missing. the number. Oh wow, I got it right. What else do they load in the it's cylinder on me then? Hey, here? I don't know. Just Some bullshit. Right? No. No, it's wrong. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining. All right, here's Wait, the part. What did you say? The dying message. Dining. She wrote something on the wall behind her. Remember? One. Oh, he wouldn't remember. Zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. Flip it over. There must be Where's the end? Killer hidden in there. Well, before we get to look at the ones. That, I need to ask. Well, yeah, I see that, but where's the connecting can line? Really be sure that it's very faint. Come on, show it again. There is no question I can prove Sakas here left index finger. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. This is cool, I like this. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure, I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? Oh yeah, I see one, it, okay. One, yeah. Zero, it's like a scrap in the wall. That's cool. Hey Chihiro, you're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. Mr. Staberg. No, that's not. <laughs> yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Flip it. Oh, yeah. They're super it cool. Looks like. What? What? No, it's just. A look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, this part. Don't these first two, one, one, look less like two numbers? <laughs> I know, three, and seven. More like one letter? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one one. But oh, that leaves me plainly obvious. You could also read it as an N. Yeah, they kind of dragged this out. Finally, just said something worth or whatever. <laughs> if you don't get it, I bet it's cool. Really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N N zero three seven. Doesn't make any more sense than before. It's no use. I just don't know. Rotate Flip the numbers. Rotate it. 180 degrees. Huh? Rotate it. I think maybe. Maybe I see someone. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right onto who did it! So, whose name did she write? <laughs> Are you stupid? Sayaka's so dying message reveals the real killer's name. Turn the image 180. Are they gonna do it for us? <laughs> you. <laughs> no. Oh, you're stuck in that state. Here you are. Here's my answer! The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. Like she just said. You turn the message around. It's a the letters L E. That's cool. N. L E O N. Or more accurately, Leon. Oh. What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. It's just the lamest excuse. Okay. And now he's thinking. Yep. No. It's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down and as a result, 
You wanna have time to think about that. That would be really weird. Try to write that up. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something. Because they just tried it. And the letters will be inverted. That sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Oh man, here's the final push, I remember this. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence this shirt, Leon tried whatever. to get rid of? Or the shirt. The evidence that Leon tried to get rid of is the thing I found is the thing I found on the ground in front of the incinerator, right? This thing. I got it! He wanted to you double tap X. The burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah. I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button. Exactly. That, that's right. Yep. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. The ball. There are some other points. Oh. Are you finally starting to understand? Mm -hmm. The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. The burnt, yeah, the burnt remains of the button-up shirt which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to be responsible. How it was disposed. How? Because something what it needs to I remember do. saying where, I'm like, how is that wrong? We should be able to figure out who the killer like, is. It was disposed in the incinerator. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? But you can throw something because you're the ultimate baseball you star. To hit the where the ball to comes in. On either. Oh yeah, you're so done for. You need the key to get in, and the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> no, that's wrong. There's another way to use the incinerator, incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. And that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. It was a lag spike there. I assume this is the last one. Shattered crystal ball. Oh, poor Leon, he's stuck in that state. The key to the trash room. You say poor Leon. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator. No, it's wrong. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence. Did you figure it out? Oh, poor me. You can't get past the gate. You couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. Shattered what is crystal it, ball. Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but, uh... But how would you use it? Throw it. Roll it. The killer had to use the... <laughs> divine with it. The killer had to use it in some way. The killer he had simply to. took aim at the incinerator I couldn't read all that. And through all they had to do was hit that switch. And the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that... Threw a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hifumi? 30 feet away. Oh, huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time. Yon, yon, yon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps the work of a fairy. Fumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Yo, Leon Ballin? What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. 
The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least... 30 feet. 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? That, that's yeah. right. There's no way. It's you, impossible. It's also... Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is. It wouldn't have been much of a challenge after, at all for the killer because he's the ultimate baseball star. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? Breakdown. He sounds very smart. 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball. You, you, you can't be serious. I'm not the killer. He's got yeah, you are. Shepherd brains have got it all wrong. I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay then. Take a look at the Dakota. toolkit. Go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. Or not. And with that, we can end this. No. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, End Don. you. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. The closing argument is about to begin. Sure. Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you will be given a complete summary of the case. You have to reproduce the flow of events in the case of a form for the case in the form of a comic book. In manga Over style, left, so right comic. to left. There's number, yeah, okay. There's number piece of missing. It's up to you. Complete it. Yeah, it's like, blah, blah. You'll get a hint. All right, have fun. Oh, it's cool. Okay. Yeah. Right to left. Okay, remember after you find joystick. If you go over, if you hover over the question mark, you get a hint. Okay, that's cool. Um. Oh, I have to hold it. We came in. You don't have to go in order. You can just like go however you want. So you can do like last to first if you want. Okay, I know this is um here. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Yes. And he walks out. Is there a ball frame? I think there's yeah, this one. Ballin. That's the clock keys. Actually, well, yeah, I don't know where to put it. I think that'd fit better there. What else do I have? This one. Like, what is that? Um, so they do all that. And then you start cleaning everything. Where's the lock making thing? Here it is. And he lock picks it. I mean, the art in this is phenomenal. Actually... I don't think there's anything else. Actually, um... No, this goes here. And then he blocks it. And then this goes here, I think. It's the last one. The killer right, let's try it. Is you! I think I'd better take one oh, more look song. back at the case from the Yep. Alright, those headphones on. Last night, the killer went to the room Oh my gosh, the art is phenomenal. Enough from what we can tell, oh. Sayaka yeah. invited that person there intending to kill them. 
she attack them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier? But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought. Oh my god, I can see it. During the struggle, <laughs> Stop hitting it. A strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily. And their Sayaka knew about that oh my god! Told it. But of course, the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. That's a cool frame. And Not that. Death, all her strength is gone. That art is just so good. Dead, oh my god. The killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took what off their shirt. What are the reviews on this overwhelming positive? I think so. Good. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate. Preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. That is cool. What, Leon? Complete. It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Probably. Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Yeah. Of course I do! I object! I object! I object! I mean, all of right this down. is just a bunch of stupid theories. Oh, yeah. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Literally it's really everywhere. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it, Makoto. I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Toolkit. I have the evidence. The first bullet time battle is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Sure. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you'll engage with them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka BTB. By the way. <laughs> during BTB, 
you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with rhythm. Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen each center. Rhythm game. Press the A button to lock on to an opponent's statement. Destroy the statement you locked on. You lock onto with the Y button as the tempo marker reaches the center. So A is like a target and Y is the, like the actual. Okay. Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Do this consecutively and you'll start a temp combo. Oh my god. Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get into a tempo down situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for hitting each button. So watch out for that. If you get enough damage to your opponent, and their weak spot statement will appear. At this point, you can press the Y button to shoot it down with a truth bullet, like any other statement. Repeat your statement fast enough, and you'll come out victorious. But just like before, if your influence gain reaches zero or you run out of time, you fail. I butchered influence gauge so badly. Well then, good luck. When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. The toolkit. They used something of their own to remove the screws. I refuse to acknowledge Could it. have been. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid! I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. Where's your proof? Oops. You hit me? Not a chance. You need to lock on. Me. Stupid! You lost! Stop talking! Shut up! Here's your proof! And you remember to lock on. It's A. Not a chance! You are! Shut up! Oh my god. <laughs> you can't mash. Here's your proof! I'm not. You hit me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Stupid! You are! Stop talking! Shut you up! need to lock Here's on! I am. Oh my god, you know you weren't. Not a chance. You lied. Shut up. Do I need to delay it? No. Stupid. You just need to make sure they get their pink ring around them, and then you can kill the statement. Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Stop talking. Shut up! Where's your proof? You're about to die. Yeah, I know. Not a I'm hitting A, why isn't it targeting? Okay, that's it. Ah. Yo. I was hitting A, I don't know why it wasn't targeting. You guys listen to them. Everyone must be fine. Yeah, I sure. refuse to give up yet. Will it put me back where I started? Yes. <laughs> Not at all. Removed I stupid, stupid, stupid. So when do I hit A? When they show when up? When the dot goes in the big in the center of the big dot. Where's your proof? You kidding me? And only then. Not a chance! It wasn't me! Okay, Stupid. cool. Yeah, no, That's you what did I was it. Stop talking! Oops. Shut up! Where's your proof? You can also lock on to multiple at once. You're like chance. Yeah, like that. You lied! Oops. Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Stupid! Where's your pr- This should prove it! <laughs> you know, just one frame. <laughs> yep. 
That's what I was missing before, because I was just hitting A. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever the screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I don't think that was made clear though. Or whatever. To remove that. I think it was. I mean, oh, you're bad. Screwdriver, right? Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. That must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the tool kit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got tool kits. So the killer naturally assumes there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then who? Even for the tutorial, this is phenomenal. Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. Oh wow, that artwork's also phenomenal. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. Good. I kind of reminds you of Gygus. <laughs> See, because he died. I just didn't get it. That's all the problem. Yeah. The only problem. That's not really your fault. Because, like, like in the next head. game, there's a thing that I didn't bones? get at all at first, either. I'll tell you when. You all have a lever Kay. in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all. You better I'm vote. Triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor. Right? That's scary. <laughs> Good thing you don't okay, actually have to vote. Then let's get Is it just excited. A Who yeah. will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Kindergartners. <laughs> Games. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> what? Oh, why? I should celebrate that. But whatever. I guess he does want to see despair. <laughs> Here we go. Looks like he got it right on the money. The black end, in this case, the one that killed Sayaka. Yeah! Was none other than Leon Kuwata. Huh? Hey, hold on. Leon. Leon, did you really? Come on, man. I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. Can't read that. I, I didn't have a choice. It was killer be so killed. Undertale. You are any different. One wrong step and I'll have you. And you'd be the one standing here. It was complete chance that I wound up like this. Just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. I mean, kinda. Yeah. yeah. Well, you could have just left. You could have booked it. You could have ran. Hey, come on! But then you're like, she tried to kill me, and now she's just there, and you want to make her chase that. after you. <laughs> Bang out everyone's door while you run down. Everything's become clear. Actually, yeah, you know, I have to think about how you get out of a situation like that. Yeah, it's like, like uh, uh, uh... I mean, it kind of makes sense in your head, but you have to think about the logic behind it. So when I, yeah, when I think about that... Honestly, I'd be better off if we'd be wrong. Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then that truth is Sack was trying to frame me. That's what I'm trying to say. But, even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind, it's all because of that video. Well, yeah. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her, and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now that we're trapped in here, we have no way out. 
probably waiting for me. Can't afford to be stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. So after you see something like that happen to them in Sayaka. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even if some things were not so pleasant. I had to make that statement work. And that's why Sayaka, for the, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So, when she said, No matter what happens, please, please always, always be, be there, there for me. me. I need you on my side. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy howdy, the entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. Bop, 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 bop. She seems so nice and lovely on the inside. But on the outside, but inside she's descended into pure madness. What'd you say? Phew. I understand. Really, I do. Yup yup. You're not under despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Passion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they're collapsed. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly in- Oh no! Don't! No, do Suddenly it. in the friendship that Monokuma. But... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was iron was like iron, strong enough I was sure. Strong enough I was sure it would leave a bruise. I Calm ran out down. of breath. If you really want to make your enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Can't say that. Ah, that was a close one. I was sure you were gonna give me a good wall thing. Just barely avoided punishment you did. That hatching is amazing. Yes indeed. Now then, since you so magnificent magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kuwata will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? Punishment. You mean execution? Wait a second! I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, Too bad. That's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. Yeah, okay? I want to say that. Exactly, it was self-defense. You forced your way into the bathroom. Did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she'd shut herself in the bathroom, you went out on your way to head back to your room. Then you came back all the way, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? She had any number of chances to stop what you're doing. A high number. But you chose not to. Is it not because you had it? Eh, is it because I cannot read is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So, that's no, why... that's not. <laughs> Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? Can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. It's Monokuma, because... Yep. Because the one to blame is him. I was so broken up. I don't really know this. That was in a noise. This never wouldn't have happened. This, yeah, this never wouldn't have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation, the mastermind. Uh oh, did you just awaken your sense hey, of justice? Um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwaked sense of justice. After all, people with that sort of mentality that per perpetuate war all over the world. The hatching is amazing. I knew you were gonna say that. Not <laughs> awakened within you. Just yeah, shut up. Okay. Well, anyway, more importantly, chills, let's hurry up and get what everyone's been waiting for: the punishment. I'm begging you, please don't do this. Hey, no more begging. No more excuses. You must pay for the. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Punishment. For, oh my god, don't just stop halfway through the statement. 
have prepared a very special punishment for Leon Kuwata, the ultimate baseball star. But then they can reuse the line. Oh, no, no. Yeah, true. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! No! I remember this. Time for the punishment! Is it going to be similar to the starting? Uh, the starting what? cutscene? Stupid Dashling. What was that? I don't know. Stupid Dashling decided to open. Oh, we saw that in the um, intro. That's yes. Yes. Oh, dang. Oh wow, okay, that's fitting. Can we talk about the animation though? The 1000 blow. Uh... Oh, he's hitting every single one. <laughs> Wow, okay. That was... I have no words. That was cool. I really like that. What we saw. Even if it was an execution... Um... Yeah, I can't phrase this any better. The way they executed it was amazing. <laughs> that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call that, what else could we call it? <laughs> Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? I can't, I can't take this it. anymore. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well, oh. well hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. D damn you! I can't say that. What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some sort of dark, awful secret society, said Hyper Guy. And before I say it, the hatching. Or in this case, a dark, awful secret society type of bear. Well... Um. So why are you putting us through an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Okay, that was the correct hey, thing. I got um... confused for a second. It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. It's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think that's possible. Um... Hey, uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. Dude, shit. I can't read that. <laughs> you must really hate me. <laughs> You must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. Yeah. Hatching. What happens? What happened? Happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free from your regrets from the outside world. You're the rain. Yon yon yon. Of course, we can't cut free from the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. Hmm. You're trapped, are you? All you gotta do is kill. Well, I'm sure once you learn all the all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Trails, chills, anyway, kills. let's get to the Black End's punishment. That's what that's what everyone's waiting for after all. Hey. 
When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything. No, you say it right now. I need to save some fun of the fun for later. Uh, and just like that, he was gone. Left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Is there a 16th person? No, why? Uh, well, there's there was an extra... S okay, whatever. I'm losing my mind. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no. It wasn't as long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. Aww. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. I'm about to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I felt like such a fool, or I feel like such a fool, becoming such an easy target it's like true. that. I meant to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However, yeah, you're done. Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed certainly. her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. I think that it was. Anyway... She was... uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone, or deceive you, which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the depths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths. That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit it. I'm curious. Did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well. I'm psychic. What? Huh? God damn it. Kidding. I love that line. I is that it? <laughs> oh, that's such a good uh, way to <laughs> I know, that's such a good way to end the chapter. Dude, that's nuts. 12 left. Wow. I can't believe they killed TikTok. I can't believe it. God damn it. You received the oh he received it a spare bat present. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, yeah. That was such a trip, dude. Oh my gosh.